what dice you have over here, so we can make sure you get the right dice so you don't have to look for them later. Oh. You got a 10 for the die. I got a 10. We're live. We're live. We're live. Eight. We're live. Six. That's an interesting choice. Cool. Six and eight. Yeah, kind of digging in the not Knight Rider team. Six, eight, and four. Six, eight, four? That's exactly what I want. Six, eight, four. Starring in Half Devil Jenna. We need a couple more, though. Have you watched any of the new Mr. Kids? What else do you need? God, they're great. Oh, they're Well, because it's a. Four. Yeah, Leisha does a great job. No, that's a four. That's uh, a six. Patton does a great yeah. job. Jonah and the robot Eight. takes a little bit for them to get all these going, but once yeah, they get going, it's mod. great. They did what this. Else you yeah. It takes him another like few six? minutes just to get his flow, Eight. and then he's in. Yeah, yeah. Or, and yeah. you can use them more than once. Oh, you're just trying to line them up. It's a lot better than I thought it would be. I'll probably check it out. These ones are six. Yeah, of course, after our show. Yeah, so you uh, guys can make up whatever you want to do, and there's only a few different uh, things. 20 you really is like for actual, actual okay. like, I think the best one out of the season okay. so far has been Star Crash. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a really horrible no, just, European Star Wars. Mm, I only need one. With Hasselhoff. If you want to, I mean, it, some people like to have two. That's going to confuse me, I feel like. Right? Whatever you want. I know what I'm doing. I mean, I'm not going to do anything different than I do on Infinity Tower. I'm just going to yeah, ignore you guys until you say it like ten times, and then I'm going to pay attention. Go, you can go live. Dude, you're like every other GM. You can start talking to the camera anytime you want. Hello, uh, camera. But the question. I'm going to have play a stupid question. Cool open right question. There is no stupid yes. question. So what's the question? How do I know which number's up on this? Okay, that's a great question. The bottom is the bottom is the number. The bottom number. is the number. Right. right. Okay. Right. I was like, I know. that doesn't make any sense. I know it's a little weird. <laughs> I got to admit that's not a dumb question at all. Okay. So, I guess I. Pitch the fact that we're here, right? Am I doing yep. all the usual sponsors? Do we not do the sponsors? Okay. What do we do? Tonight. Hey. We're here, we're doing What Game Did You Bring, which is a totally different game, but you still got stuck with the same face starting the show off <laughs> on Time to Tabletop. I'm sorry. Next week it'll be different. Um, our promos, our sponsors are Arknight, which does flat plastic minis and maps. You could imagine I was holding up a sample to show you right now. Arknight.com. Check them out. They're it's super dope. So flat. <laughs> yeah. Now he like, has another space over here. Right. I was holding it in the wrong dimensional space so you couldn't see it. I'm very sorry about that. Um, we awesome. are playing Open Legend tonight. These guys have no experience with Open Legend. I'm just really stoked they're willing to sit down and play a game with me tonight. Uh, yeah. Thank you guys all very much. Because they were expecting something different and the person who was scheduled to run the game had a last minute emergency thing and would really have liked to be here with you guys. So we're doing Open Legend. It is an amazing system for running games. You can check it out at openlegendrpg.com. They have a website. Everything online is free. Um, anyways, some things I really like about it. We already talked about being free online. That's always nice, because that way you can start it up and you don't have to worry about buying a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. It's easy to run. It's easy to play. This is the third time I've made a setting up for it to run a game, and all the times I had like concept to stuff within like an hour and a half. So I think that's cool. All the dice explode. What that means is if you can imagine that I rolled the highest number on the die, then every time you do that, you get to add that number and roll it again. So if you roll this little four-sided die, which you guys have and I don't, then you might end up with a four, and then it would be maybe an eight, and then it could be a 12 and a 16. So you can get some really impossible numbers. Um, so that's fun. And every roll matter matters, which is a big thing because in your RPGs, there's a lot of like management of time and resources and how long did we do this for and how many times can I do it. We're only going to roll if it counts, and we're only going to roll if there's a chance that it really isn't going to go well for you. So we're just going to play a game and talk about a story and roll some dice when we have to. And so that's a little bit more like Apocalypse World. It's one of those more modern game design things. It's a little bit more fun for players, so you don't have to figure out all the stuff all the time. Um, people I want to thank, Open Legend RPG, Brian Feister, who's the creator, and Hero Muster. If you check out openlegend.heromuster.com, they have a character builder which makes your life easy. It generated all these sheets here on the front of the table. It saved me probably two or three hours of prep if I was going to do any prep for this game, which I didn't. <laughs> so, I mean, other than all the stuff that's in front of you, but I had a flat tire yesterday, so I killed some time. Aww. Hey, you know, what are you going to do? Pro that's side? Okay. Those are tasty beers. Oh, yeah. wait a second. <laughs> so, if we go around the table and introduce ourselves... I'm B. Cool. That was quick. I don't know what else to tell you. Hey, that's fun right now. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jim. I just turned 33 yesterday. Hey, so I'm Jim. Jim. Hey. Hey. So, I'm a cookie. Yes, it's cookie. Birthday cookies, which Jenna brought because she knew it was your birthday. Oh, totally. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Psychic, apparently. Yeah. I'm Jenna. Yeah. Uh, Adam. If that's you, about it. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't recognize them from playing Apocalypse World before, um, maybe you'll recognize them from when they do it again. Should that happen? Should have been watching that episode. 
And it's always on VOD. You guys can always do that. I thought it was really cool. I watched it. You guys did great. YouTube Absolutely. money? <laughs> so what we're doing tonight is... That's not me. Just pretend that's not happening. Um, I did a little setting for Open Legends called Legends of Today. You can look for it on a blogger if you're really that curious about it. But basically it's a modern day setting with magic and magical creatures, none of which we necessarily need to play with tonight. Because we're going to work on being fast and introducing you guys to a game that you haven't played before. We have a heist. We have basically like an action movie in the style of Mission Impossible. So I'm calling this the Infiltrators, and you are all people who have jobs which are infiltrate things you would do. Um, if you come up with a name for your character or a code name, I can see either one being super cool. Um, you know, if someone wants to be Snake Eyes or something cool like that, I mean, whatever stuff you guys come up with is going to be great. Um, while you guys think about that for a second, I'm going to explain the action roll, which is the only thing you really have to do tonight in terms of rolling. When you do an action roll, you're going to roll the 20 sided die, and you're going to roll whatever your matching attribute is, which we're going to figure out when you go for something. You're going to roll them both. If any dice explode, you roll those dice again, and we go like that. Sometimes we have what they call advantage or disadvantage. If you have advantage, you're going to roll more dice, and you're going to pick the bigger of the two. So if I had advantage with a D8, I'm going to use 2D8, and then whichever one comes out bigger before explosion, see I got the 8 right there, so I'm going to have the 8 and this 5, so I had a 13, and now I've got a 19 because of math. So if you can think about that as being a thing, we will probably talk about it more than once, but that's all you have to know for the mechanics. You have some hit points, don't go below that number, um, that's all the way on the far right, uh, otherwise you'll be unconscious. That's pretty much everything. If you guys end up with questions as you're going through it, there's a, a section of the sheet where it says Banes and a section of the sheet where it says Boons. Boons are things you would do to yourself and other people in your group which are going to be helpful to you. Banes are things you want to do to somebody in a fight where you're going to try to stop them, slow them down, etc. Um, I'm hoping it's not that confusing, but I've looked at this before. So. Jim, you were the first person with character that you picked out, so what's your character concept? Uh, Just what does it say? Is it like character thing? concept? It's up there on the top on the left, underneath your name. Oh, uh, I guess the archetype is operator. Ar archetype. Ar archetype. Ar 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 it's an operative, so I'm thinking a guy who is the point man in any clandestine operation, so. The guy on the, the guy who's moving through the building, taking care of stuff, mm -hmm. breaking their breaking in, taking down guards, getting the payload and then taking off. Okay. Maybe well rounded, maybe a little bit more used to this kind of work in general, rather than being a real specialist. Mm -hmm. Um, Jenna, what do we stick you with? Um, I'm the hacker. So you're the hacker. Yeah. That's cool. So for this, you know, I envision that as being somebody who's got like computer skills to access like security and networks and things like that, and also maybe some sort of cool flying drone in case you need to shoot somebody and so forth. You don't okay. have to like do it with your bare hands. Yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, you could probably do that nowadays if you were a rocket. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Adam, what do you have? Uh, I am the demolition expert. I am currently missing three fingers. All right. Cool. Yes, he's a klutz. <laughs> oh god. He juggles ball. He juggles grenades for fun. Yeah, I would definitely give that guy the grenades. That makes sense. <laughs> That's where I would go with that. That's why I'm here because bomb explosions are my best friend. Cool. So. I, I like how we were about to let be the cookie, and then like it's her turn. <laughs> it's like so close. We can wait. To... I'm an adult. I eat cookies for dinner. Sure. Yeah. Of course. I'm having coffee for dinner. So yeah, this is America. Yeah. <laughs> and like, I mean, I also ate a tortilla with cheese on it. Yeah. yeah. Well rounded. Case of dinner. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Two courses. It's like a more of a roll up in the microwave <laughs> than a quesadilla. Quesadilla like implies an intent. <laughs> That's it. A little bit, a little bit of being a couple minutes of time. Yeah, yeah. this is a 30 second situation. Awesome. So we're going to use that like, as a code word. Quesadilla equals intent. This is the food uh, I've learned from my wife, who's our producer. So. The, the cookie or the rolled up tortilla? The rolled up tortilla. Okay. 30 seconds in the microwave. Thanks, Kat. It's like, main, it's like her main food. <laughs> <laughs> Not oh. cheesy wrap. Cheesy yeah. wrap. Sometimes she puts salad in it. Uh huh. Ooh. When she feels guilty? No, just when okay. she's like, I don't eat the way the No, yeah, that would be nasty. Right, right. Important information. Oh, um, look who it is. Well, the more you know. What do we yeah. what, what, what could I do? On the face. Right? The face. Yeah. So you're going to be the smooth talker. And then you've also got some healing powers in case we need to get some people healed for some reason. Cool. Yeah. So, so yeah, you're going to have to help me out a couple of times. 
It might be a thing. You think? It might be a thing. It's a shame I wasn't around when this fool blew up his fingers. Yeah. I know, right? I could have really used them. <laughs> one got disintegrated, though. Hi. It was this one. Come here, Tom. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, when I'm in a being character. I'm like, there, yeah, I'm like this. Some, like, all, like, medical tape. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> I need to hold my fingers up, eh? <laughs> So, yeah, I packed that van with homemade C4. Oh no, oh no, oh no! <laughs> That's a right where I was like, I'm not eating that. So let's talk about what kind of a team we want to have. Okay. Do you see yourselves as being like government operatives? Are you thinking that you'd be doing something private and independent? What's your mission? What makes you guys tick? I, I think we all came from different walks of life and we know each other on a, like a network. So if I was like hired to do a job, these would be my experts, the pe my subject matter experts, the people I call on to come in and take care of the job. Sometimes we would have a sharpshooter, we don't need that, mm -hmm. and we kind of strictly kind of stick away from, or my personal preference is stick away from magic because I don't trust it. Yes, magic exists. Right, right. So the lips of today setting, if you're looking into it, we're going to deal with magic. We're going to deal with some extraordinary abilities. So everybody's a little bit better than you would imagine like a normal situation. Like the fact that B can just magically heal people. We're just going to deal with that. Yep. It'll I don't question that. That's how it works in real life. Cool. Great. Okay. So we're imagining like a loose affiliation as a team. Mm -hmm. You don't have like a cool code name and like jumpsuits and things like that. You're no. more just general specialists in your craft. I think we just kind of blend into the crowd whenever we do stuff. Okay. Well, I don't know about you, but I definitely have like this stunt man jumpsuit on. Oh yeah, because right, you right. know you're prone to fire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they don't necessarily match, is now. Yeah. No, <laughs> no, it's like it's like duct taped uh, in half. <laughs> patched. Uh, patched. My helmet is like missing from one part, <laughs> and it's like a motorcycle motorcycle helmet. <laughs> okay. But I have another visor that. What visor? Yeah. <laughs> they didn't come with one. <laughs> this used to be like an MTV show, I think. Okay, so this is good. So you guys all are like, let's say, very subject matter experts, as Jim said. That sounds really good to me. Um, what's your motivation? Money? Are you looking for like a particular thing you're trying to find? Information? I mean, what is it that motivates you guys as a team? Mm. Or as individuals? Does anyone else want to go? Are you are you saving up for hand Sounds replacement good. surgery? <laughs> you know, no, I'm actually very proud of these missing figures. <laughs> I'm very proud of these. <laughs> <We're tired. laughs> um, I don't know, what, what's your individual motivation? Ah, shit. Um, I'm in it just for the lols, man. I'm nuts. I like explosions. I like things go boom. I mean, any other reason to press that button and make it go boom? I mean, yeah. That's the way I live. Okay, so Jenny, you already told us going into this that RPGs are not your most comfortable subject. Yeah. You've done a lot of this. So what do you think would motivate you to try to take place in illegal, extra-normal ventures? Um, probably some type of, like, oh God, it's going to be super like, cliche, like, save the world somehow, you sure. know? Something's happening. We need to save it. We are going to play an action movie. This is going to be a cliche. Yeah. All right. Nobody say they're going to retire tomorrow or anything like that. It would end badly. Yes. Right. Three days close to retirement. So, B, what's what's motivating? I'm their psychiatrist. Wow. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. okay. And, and we live. That's in how this. I met all of these people. Was court mandated <laughs> psychiatry. Wow. And then, quite honestly, the system is fucking broken. And I'm like, if you can't beat them. Join them. Okay. That's pretty awesome. Okay. All right, Jim. Did we decide what's motivating you here? Uh, what's motivating me is. I think from the organization, uh, my character's name is Jake Grayson. He was disavowed, and he has been trying to make out a meager living doing odd jobs for whomever pays for it. Okay. I'm trying to solve oh, whatever happened. Oh, crap. Fixing it. It's bad. I'm so sorry. No, it, it wasn't a full move. It was just a bump. I think it's totally probably fine. It's okay. I don't need most of my face to be on camera. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jake. Jake Grayson. Okay. B, what are you going to do? Dr. Go Silverstein. Dr. Silverstein. What's that? That's cool. I like Shell. Okay. Jenna? Uh, You're up. Anything? Can I be Felicity? Sure. <laughs> you can <laughs> certainly be <laughs> Felicity. I was like, I've got to be here. He's fine. Adam. Hmm. What's up? What are we going to call you? Uh, my nickname is Three Fingers. <laughs> 
Okay. That sounds apt. <laughs> <laughs> we always call you three for short if for some reason that's taking up too much time. Yeah, no problem. Three. I mean, Dog and if I lose a that. finger, I mean, just make it four. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Okay. Because oh, this is a Eventually, we'll get to yeah. one hand. That'll be one hand, three fingers. Well, if I lose a hand, I mean, just five. <laughs> and then add on. This is going to be interesting. Right. <laughs> like I said, I juggle grenades. <laughs> yeah. Let's get down to the fun stuff. So, Jake, you have a old, busted-looking panel van. It's not yours personally, it's, it's, but it's a burner. It's, yeah, yeah. It's one of those things that's totally expendable as equipment. Yeah, it, it was... Some van that that must have had like a mural painter on it from the seventies. I don't know, like a like a somebody like a wolf or like somebody riding a dragon or a wizard or whatever. But you know, you kind of tried to scrape it off, but it's still not. It's still on there. You ever watched Archer? Yeah, it's. it's I don't think it's cool ass man. I don't think it's Krieger's <laughs> Van of Spears, but it's. It it's should be. <laughs> It's it's yeah. to just little carpet glue still on the back where yeah. it didn't quite yeah, get taken up. Yeah, where there was away. a water bed. Right. It's just oh. the frame. Right. Okay. Nice. So it's a burner. It's the van that they're intending for you to leave somewhere on the side of the freeway and then make your exit. You got your team together. There are people you like working with when you need this particular set of specialties. You've got a Manila envelope and you got an address. Inside the envelope is probably your contact information, where you're supposed to go, what you're supposed to do. The address is about three blocks down the road in the middle of downtown Los Angeles. Downtown LA. Mm -hmm. It's to the time of day where it's starting to get a little busier. It's like three o'clock. Unless there's a time of day you'd prefer it to be. Well, I think going in at night would be better. You want to go night? Well, sure. we're getting the information right now, so sure. if, how long do we have to do the job? Well, yeah. That's what I was going to ask, like, what are we actually getting? kind of depends. Yeah, it's just an address. It doesn't have any information. Yeah, yeah you've got the address in the envelope. So you can okay. open the envelope now if you want to see what you've got. Yeah. So inside you've got the address of a company you've heard of before as being kind of a mover and shaker company. They're international, they're global. The name is Asura Corporation. And they deal mostly with biotech. So they deal with pharmaceuticals, they deal with supplements, they deal with, like, medical enhancements and things like that. Um, it's a really simple schematic of the building, some pictures of the outside. It's a standard 15-story office building. There's two basement levels. Basement level two is supposedly for top secret research. So in the center of basement level two, there is a like sub room, which is containing the target. Okay. So whatever product this is that Asura Corporation is developing, is causing people to go catatonic when they're using their cell phones. Okay. Uh, just has like typical building schematics to lay out of the building. All it's that really super bad. But you don't really have very much information about the building. You've got some exterior shots, and you have some very early building plans. Like they just got copied out of the, the like uh, county offices, mm -hmm. but nothing that's more current and nothing that looks like it's finished. How long do we have to do the job? There's not really a timeline that's established, so this is really one of those things where when you get a job, you're mostly like graded or paid or considered according to your efficacy, how quickly you complete the job. So these are always intended to be pretty quick things. So? For Felicity's sake, there's also a note in here that this problem of people becoming catatonic is starting to clog the hospital, like ERs and so forth in the area. So it's sometimes becoming increasingly severe. But it seems to be very select about the people it affects. So, well, everybody, I think. I go boom. And what do you think? <laughs> I don't know. What is the office <clears throat> building like? What is it? It's a Sierra Court. They, they got their fingers and everything. You know, mom's apple pie, which is grown in a lab, supplements, or cams, everything and anything that's there. I mean, they got their hands on biotech, so they're doing that. Uh, we gotta go in, we gotta go down to the second floor basement. That's where they got whatever we need to pull out of there. So, Crap. You got any ideas? Um, like hack the mainframe? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's 
sure <laughs> I can try to do that. Sure. So think about office buildings. Think about what you know in terms of like how you enter a building, what sort of like common measures there are, mm -hmm. security systems, badges, visitor logs, you've got to get past security, things like that. And imagine you want to get down to the basement. We need security badges for four people, I assume? Or three? I can't just stay in the van. Maybe. You may have to stay, <laughs> yeah. have to stay in the van. <laughs> you'll, you'll have your drone, we can carry the drone in the bag. Well, on security systems and building systems, you know, a lot of things are hardwired because of the fact that they don't want people to penetrate them from the outside. So if you have to get on site, then you may be able to have better access to security systems and computer systems from indoors. Mm -hmm. So that's a reality. Mm. One of the upsides of going in at night is that you've got like cleaning crew people. So if you can find a way to like slip in with that group of people. Mm. Well, cleaning crew. <clears throat> you have anything to add other than I go boom? Just trying to think of what kind of explosives we'll need. Probably need something a little on the down though, but something enough to crack. I'm assuming concrete at least. Well, Sounds right to you, right? Your solid steel. Too, solid so steel. Maybe some. Oh, I can get probably get some thermite. Oh, oh we're definitely gonna need thermite. And Ooh, don't depend too much on me, because the package could get destroyed. Well, don't lose all of it. I, I get a little carried away. Yeah, another note you're getting here is that this target, whatever it is, if you can't extract it, you should disable it. Oh, okay, I so got that. options. Hmm. <clears throat> well, we could always sit outside of the building in our rustic American piece of uh, okay, so family movement. And keep an eye on the place for about a day or two. Um, and we thought about taking out the power, not just like near there, but if there's secondary generators. Oh, I could, I can find them. I mean, I'm gonna need a little help in locating them with the power voltage hacker. Okay. Yeah, she's okay. drone. Yeah, she does, <laughs> and I can just. Pull a little EMP on I mean, there. It has lasers too. Oh my god, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Felicity's got cool stuff. It's got a laser. It's awesome. It is awesome. And I think me and uh, Dr. Silverstein, I think we'll have to go inside and we'll have to get down there. Yeah, I could probably handle the outside. Well, God help us. They're Hopefully there better be an outside when we come back out. I can't promise that. <laughs> we gotta go in deeper than we'll have to pull you guys in to make sure that anybody who comes behind us, they get su or supply or surprised. Let's say supplies. Well, we could probably end up using your talents and talking your way in. We can definitely get at least you in. <clears throat> I got talents. Exactly. So maybe you could, we can actually send you in first to get more updated plans. Uh, but what about if I it's mean, all encrypted or anything else, we'll need someone to unencrypt it, unencrypt it. Yeah. So she'll have to either go in with her or she'll have to talk her through it. Well, I'm just a demo guy. You're the <laughs> <laughs> this is like against my character. <laughs> Come on, you have enough common sense to know. Right, okay, okay, I fine, shouldn't fine. stand near explosives, but uh, you're right. You're right. Okay, so well, I wonder if there's any available office space. Maybe I can office make an appointment. Street. No, like in the building. Like, do they have any open suites, or is there any opportunity that I might have as like a customer who's like, oh, I'm, I'm you know, I'm a practicing doctor. I need an office in the area, whatever, or something else, right? Like anything where I can get some more information about the building. You know, we can do a little earbud and <clears throat> maybe by what I'm saying and where I'm moving, she can get a read on what I'm what I'm seeing or like where I'm moving well, around. There, you could end up uh, getting a little USB with a little hard mm. chip in. That way, he'll just he'll breach it, but at least he'll teleport. Her, he'll get her the rest of the signals. I wear glasses, <coughs> so I mean, you can always. Uh, okay. well, that's true. We have that in the budget. <laughs> sure. 
Sure. Uh, do we have to go talk to uh, like any of the local rabble rousers in the area, like you know Irish Tom, who has all the guns, and you know Frankie Three Fingers, because oh, that's a good one. Frankie <laughs> Three. Okay, uh, I'll have to change that because Frankie Three Fingers has already been taken. Uh, Lisa Left Eye. I there you go. Know. Yeah, yeah. That's a person. You guys are pretty well equipped <laughs> at this point. Hmm? Okay, so, so for most of the things that you can come up with that you talked about so far, you guys can handle that out of what you have on your persons, what your usual professional loadout is. Okay. Okay. All right. So. The, uh, the, the building, uh, can you describe the building again? Mm -hmm. So it's a 15-story office building with two basement levels. It's a pretty typical, like, glass-sided office building in downtown LA. Okay. And that's all we know? Yeah, I mean, you've got some exterior photos of it. And okay. you've got some really early-stage building plans. All right. So, okay. Nakatomi Towers minus Hans Gruber and the... <laughs> That's a Die Hard reference, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm yeah. totally paying attention. <laughs> you would imagine I had like studied up for this. Yeah, totally. Yeah. So, so in my in my experience, this type this type of information we need more. So before we go in, we need we're a little too blind. <clears throat> yeah. So who's so, going to find that information? That would probably be up to our face and hacker. So how do you want to do it? Do you want to go in in person, or do you want to look on the network? What's your plan? Well, let's see what she can do first, and then we can work backwards to you. I'm good with that. How's how do that? you feel about that, Felicity? Sure. I can try to do. <laughs> I can do things, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so two things to note for you. Number one, this would be like a learning test for you. But also, you have a special ability as one of your feats, which allows you to have knowledge of computer systems. So if it's something that's on a network, you're going to have a much easier time knowing about it than anybody else. Okay. So, what kind of information do you want to know about this building? Um, I have no idea. That's okay. <laughs> Just take your time. Yeah. Do you want to go floor plans? Do you want to try to find out about products? Do you want to get into the scheduling system and try to book something for Dr. Silverstein? What's your plan? Um, I kind of like that idea. Okay. I'm trying to... So you're gonna take the D twenty, and then what is your logic or what's your logic die? Yeah. Um, I don't Look know on what that is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, six. Okay. Right here. okay. Oh, I guess I need two. Sorry, two I lied. Two D six. Okay, so you're gonna roll all of those dice as a big handful. Okay. And then let's see how that goes. Okay, so Not right. Good. No, it's pretty good because <laughs> right there you've got one that exploded. So that's oh. six. You're gonna roll again. So you already have twelve. Okay. And now you're rolling again. And so now instead of 12, you have 17. So 17 is pretty good. Okay. Nice. So yeah, see? Yeah, exploding dice. Yeah. Yeah. I guess There's I need one more. Roll some more dice. Game. That's right. Oh, <laughs> so see, and they explode all the time just like that. That's the goal. So you look around, you get in the scheduling system. Um, upper floors, you know, there's lots of marketing, lots of sales, lots of pharmaceutical people like you'd expect. In the lower levels, there's also research you find. So you do see one note about a, a, the basement level research, which is mostly like with like psychotropic drugs, things like that, like mood stabilizers, that kind of thing. Okay. So you are easily able to book something for Dr. Silverstein to meet with a pharmaceutical rep on floor two tomorrow at 11 o'clock in the morning. Okay. Her name is Fisher. <clears throat> you just have an A Fisher. Okay. Uh, we can probably put a camera on Dr. Silverstein too in her glasses. She should record everything, where she's walking, where she's being guided. Yeah, that maybe help update the floor plans. Yeah, maybe also if there's key pads or whatever, key codes. Um, I think if things get hot, I might need, we might need to get some heavier stuff, so I'll go talk to Irish Tom. I am the heavy guns. What, like this? <laughs> no, like that. <laughs> oh, no. Kaboom! Thank you. I'm oh. following you. We don't need I that know. many explosives, I but know. Uh, there's no such thing as too many explosives. It's a matter of opinion, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's only it, it's in the eyes of perception. But, uh, yeah, I was thinking I could probably get a maybe a rifle to go with me, and probably a face mask and other stuff. Okay. And probably body armor for these two when we go in. Okay. So you're looking at body armor. You're looking at rifle. 
Are you thinking like silencers, anything like that, or what are you trying to do here? Like a silencer for the rifle and mm -hmm. the Well, uh, sorry, I don't want to interrupt, but um, you don't have to be the only one to go in to attack. Yeah. I can, I can help as well. True. Okay. Everybody has some combat abilities. So, so you wanna, do you want a shotgun? Oh, I can do stun grenades and a whole bunch of other things, yeah. rather than just Set. straight up Leave explosions. It. Come on. So no the system is super flexible. So the reason you don't see a lot of numbers for like the kinds of equipment you have is because you're going to roll the same dice and yeah. you can apply different effects if that's really what you want. But you can just roll your energy dice for throwing a grenade and that's going to be what it is. Okay, yeah. So, so it's super simple. Yeah, I got lots of energy. So Dog, come here. Okay. You sit. So in terms of if you want no kill or kills, I mean, okay. I can be equipped for anything. Bug girl. It won't kill them unless, you know. I can definitely. They're really bad people. Yeah. I, I can definitely uh, bring a lot of flashbangs really and yeah, smoke grenades really here. Okay. So that way you have plenty of cover. Okay. And I can stay further back. I mean, you can probably rig stun mines. Yeah, yeah, that too, yeah. But yeah, I'll just take the, I'll take the rifle and we'll, I'll give you a shotgun for close encounters. Yeah, I'll take a shotgun. And rubber, rubber slugs. Well, then we'll put the explosive ones in when they're bad. That's better. You and you guys will have body armor too, so that way, you know, in case something happens. Okay, so if you're going to access your contacts, try to make a persuasion check here. Persuasion. persuasion. So, so you're adding a d20 and a d8. Alright. Seventeen. Seventeen. So yeah, it goes pretty well. Okay. You've got all the gear you want, and as you're leaving, Irish Tom gives you kind of a nod, and he says, Don't forget about me if you make a big score now. I wouldn't dream of it. Thanks, Irish Tom. Sure, sure. <laughs> That's for the extent of my Irish accent. So it's a very short <laughs> That's scene. my Irish non-Irish accent. Right. <laughs> so you've got all the equipment you want. You've got a rifle, you've got it silenced, you've got body armor, we had a shotgun with some rubber slugs. Yeah. And He's probably going to make explosive ones anyway. Probably. And body armor I'm, I'm for those two. Yeah. Explosive rounds for the shotgun. And camera and the camera inside. Yeah, and I glasses. figure things like that. Felicity's probably got all the electronic doodads you would want for doing a job like this. Okay. Cool. So, I guess uh, we're going to go do surveillance. I guess we're going to watch her go inside and then we're going to record everything else and take okay. pictures. Cool. In the van. Okay. So cut forward to the next morning. Okay, it's 11 o'clock. So you're gonna go into the office building for a Suracorp. This is like a general downtown building in LA. Well, Everything is glass going way up. We drop her off a good, like 500 feet away. So mm -hmm. that way a respectable doctor of her magnitude isn't seen riding around in right. the hoopty mini. Right, that has the hydraulics going up and down. <laughs> Why not? And for some reason there's a guy like this in the middle of the van. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like faded. <laughs> Mystery machine. Yeah. So with it being 11 o'clock, it's downtown. There's a lot of activity outside. Lots of people bustling around. Most people are out here checking their phones, tweeting, Snapchatting, you name it. When you walk into the lobby, they have one of those large open areas for waiting. There's no couches or benches or anything like that. It's not a comfortable lobby. Mm -hmm. There's some people who are on cell phones. There is a like a security station over to the side. And then straight ahead, there's one bank of elevators. Mm -hmm. But everybody who is coming the door is walking over towards security, and they're badging people and escorting them over. There is a turnstile type gate. I don't know what the term is for that. In front of the elevators, where they swipe the badge, and then the doors go, and then you can go in. Mm -hmm. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Doors are only weakness. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Always a good sign at this point. Our only weakness. Doors. Yeah. <laughs> so looking around, you just see like the central bank of elevators, your lobby that you're in right now, security yeah. desk, and then over in the corner there's what seems to be a service elevator. So it's like a separate elevator out behind the security desk. Okay. If I get, if I walk up to the security desk mm -hmm. to like ask if there's a restroom or whatever, sure. am I going to be like, can I look over to kind of see what their setup is? Like how many oh, yeah. monitors they have? Yeah, I told you, you have three very bored guards here. Okay. Oh, that's yeah. a lot of guards. Yeah. All right. There's one person who is taking people's names down and like punching out their security badges. 
there's another one who's sitting here and they're like looking at the monitors while they check their phone. Mm -hmm. And then the third person is like actively looking at the two of them and going like this. And then every time somebody actually needs to be let into the elevators, they have to get up and go swipe their badge and then they come back and sit down. Oh, this sweet cake, piece of cake for you. I mean... We got her on the uh, earpieces, right? Sure. Yeah, I'm please. assuming so. Yeah, so you can see what she sees, you can hear what she hears. It's a good setup. Okay. Well, so I'm definitely going to come in and go over to the, to the guards. Mm -hmm. And... Um, so I'm going to talk to the one in the middle first, who's looking at the monitor, but not really, who's looking at his phone. Okay, so you have to kind of step out of where the line is, so they're okay. just kind of like sitting there, or, you know, monitoring. Okay. They're, they're here like this. Yeah. Can I help you? Yeah, where's the restroom? You have to go down that way by the elevator, but around the side. Okay, thanks. They basically said, to my right, in okay. their way, so. Alright, so... I'm going to go to the restroom. I'm just going to go take a lap. I'm going to go in and throw my pen. I'm going to wash my hands cool. um, just to kind of like come back and do the perimeter of the lobby just to kind of get get them able to see everything that I see. Okay. Um, and when I come back, I'm going to... This dog. Yeah. It's Girl, put your tail down. You're beating the crap out of me. At least she's big enough to get the whole table. I know. <laughs> Sit. Park it. Um, I got some tail. Yeah, she will, <laughs> she will beat you with it. That's why I charm it. Um, do I have to talk to them to get my appointment? Mm -hmm. So to get through to go to the next person? Seems to be how you're getting the elevators, yeah. Okay, so um, is there anything that anybody wants to see? Um, as long as you're <clears throat> quite detailed with the layout, I think that's all that matters. Yeah. Okay. Just, just, be, uh, just look around all the time. Okay. Yeah. So the lobby, yeah. basic, rectangular, the desk is over here on the side, the service elevator, it's not behind the desk, it's just adjacent to the desk on the mm -hmm. far wall, and then the restrooms that you're allowed to access for public are over there on that side, mm -hmm. and then everything else is all about that elevator bank in the middle. Okay, so I need to get in to get close to the elevators now, so I'm going to tell them about my appointment so I can get through. So the person who's here typing badges, when they get to your turn in line, can I help you? Yes, I have an appointment with Fisher. Wow. Um, floor two, what time? 11 a.m. Silverstein? Yes, that's me. And the badge pops out. You have to wear the badge at all times. Okay. And it's one of those stickers like this. Mm -hmm. And then the person who's sitting over there on the side, when you apply it to your shirt or whatever else like that, they get up and they start walking over the little turnstile and they swipe their badge. And the doors go... I'm going to turn back and thank you to give them You're a welcome. full look behind that desk. Yeah, they have <laughs> monitors, like two monitors for the person who's punching the buttons like this. Mm -hmm. Two more monitors here, and then there's two more monitors by the person who's uh, the third guard, the one who's not doing anything. Do a screen grab. Do a screen, <laughs> screen grab sure. that entire thing. Yep. That's doable. You push the button there. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was like, screenshot, okay. <laughs> well, I'm assuming this is being recorded, yeah. so. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what y'all got this shit hooked up to. I'm okay. just wearing the camera. Oh, it's just live streaming to Twitch. That's right. Um, <laughs> what game did you bring? That's right. Also on YouTube. Also so, on the YouTube. That's right. It's important. You can just watch. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go in. I'm going to survey the bank of elevators, get okay. a nice look around. Yep, you've got six elevators. See what we got. Are there plants? There's one big any, plant at the end. Any seating? No, no seating. Like just that. It's just elevators. Mm -hmm, yeah. I'm going to look up. I okay. just want to know how high the ceilings are in here. It's pretty high. In okay. the elevator bank, it's like 12 feet. All right, cool. Just yeah. um, Is it like a panel ceiling? Okay. It's one of those things where like the chandeliers are like badly done to a plaster ceiling. So oh. it looks fancy, but it's but not it's fancy not. because it's chintzy. Okay, yeah. all right. All right, I'm gonna get in the yeah. Uh, Wait, any vents? Know? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, air conditioning vents up above the elevators. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Can't go in through the roof. No, of course not. That's why I'm gonna blow it. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> supposed to be stealing stuff, not destroying. He's just here to destroy this giant building. <laughs> yeah. It's a distraction. If I focus on the top levels, then 
We have the That's bottom fair. levels when to ourselves. When you hack Godzilla to bring him in, to you, let's just make this massacre complete. <laughs> when he rolls like a 60, it's going to be very interesting. So, oh, yeah. God. I'm a little nervous. Yeah, about looking that. forward to that. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get in the elevator. Okay. Because in the elevator, I'm going to be able to see what all the button mm-hmm. options are and yep. if there's like a swipe. So, um, so you've got one that has a little star next to it, and then you've got two through 15 and two rows of seven like that. Mm-hmm. There's a little fire button, and there's the call button. Okay. And the uh, the key, so that you can't just push the fire button and so forth. Okay. No basement buttons. No basement buttons. All right. Oh, that's clever. Can you hack the elevator? <laughs> <laughs> well, the real problem. I was like, I don't think I need to right now. She's the problem out. might be that they don't go down there. The elevator yeah. that we need is somewhere else. Probably that service elevator. Or something, like that. or something that we haven't, even, we can't see yet. Or a spinning case. <laughs> It's a, right. it's one of those spiral staircases. <laughs> yeah. Put the candle back. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So now I'm in the elevator. You all have seen what's in the elevator. I'm going to look up and also okay. uh, to see what the elevator yeah. situation Access is. Access hatch up above, and there's a corner where there's a camera looking at you. Hey. Smile at the camera, but no one's looking at it because he's looking not. at his phone. Mm-hmm. But I smiled anyway, and so I'm going to hit two. Cool. Okay, you have two. And you get the jaunty Muzak as you go up to floor two. Yeah. yeah. The girl from Ipanema. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the number one elevator song of all time. It's good stuff. And we get up to two, mm-hmm. it dings, and there's like an almost acceptable level of fluorescent lighting. Okay. And there's a blue carpet in the middle of like a beige carpet. So there's like a very clear line for you to follow as it goes this way. Okay. And then you get the classic like frosty glass wall with the reception table right there. Mm-hmm. And it says uh, Sir Corporation Pharmaceuticals right there like that. Okay. So when there is a person sitting there, he's got the really skinny tie and the shirt that has almost no collar on and the uh, hair that kind of goes like that. And he's sitting here mm-hmm. pushing mm-hmm. the buttons. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> yeah, sh- he's quite a hip gentleman. <laughs> and he's sitting here pushing the buttons. <clears throat> Can I help you? Yeah, hi, I have an appointment with Fisher at 11. All right, with Amanda Fisher at 11 o'clock. Are you Dr. Silverstein? I am. Great. There's some seating over there. And he points, and there's like two kind of like bluish, beige chairs. They've got the stripes going down the sides right over there. Okay. Would you like some water or coffee? I would love that. Thank you. Okay. I'd love a water. Water. All right. And he goes back and he's gone for a bit. Comes back with a water for you. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. And um, according to her office uh, status, she should be with you just like five minutes. Great. Thank you. Great. No problem. They don't have the music in here. In no, here, they're playing the local, like, cool hit station. Uh, yeah. So get ready to hear Hello by. Uh, what you call it? Fifteen times in a row. Adele. No, not Adele. Uh, Lionel Richie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about the like office hits. Yeah. So. Right. Lady. This is Reggie on the Quiet Storm. You're taking me up into the noon day hour, and we're going to be playing a lot of classics. Uh, we got Air Supply, Air, and Bread. It's just I need to ruin my car. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> bread. Oh my god. So after about five minutes, Amanda Fisher walks down the hall. She's wearing like a fairly sensible pantsuit kind of thing and comes mm-hmm. out. Dr. Silverstein, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Amanda. So come on back this way. And she walks down the hallway a little bit and she has an office that's just right there off the hall. So it's not a very big office, not super nice. Mm-hmm. But she's got the desk and it's like a nice pale wood color. And she's got the chair that swivels on both sides. So you've got a fairly nice guest chair. Go ahead and take a seat. Thank you. You're welcome. And then she comes around and sits down. So I understand that you booked this to talk about maybe mood balancers, stabilizers. Yeah, I work with a lot of court-mandated patients, uh-huh. um, people with violent tendencies. Okay. And I That's heard that statement. you've got... <laughs> <laughs> I thought, what about the hippo oath? Damn it. <laughs> Are you tell her, don't tell her about the unicorn. Please don't tell her about the unicorn. <laughs> I work with a lot of patients who have... Um, <laughs> I'll be honest with you, they have a lot of problems, like big problems, um, and not a lot of hands and fingers. So, um, it feels like so. there's like voices in my head at all times. You're so getting like, jackass and mono in one ear. Um, yeah, I'm going to turn that off so I can talk to this woman, but um, 
Like <laughs> him are arguing. <laughs> yeah, because she's going to pick up on the fact that there's something wrong with me. So I'm, I deal with a lot of violent offenders and, um, you know, a couple of other doctors that I know that work with some pretty intense patients over at the prison. You said that was confidential. Said that they got some stuff from you guys that really kind of helped knock it out. Mm-hmm. We have a number so, of experimental things that are currently Yeah, that's under what I'm works. really interested in hearing about. Okay. Um, you know, I can tell you about some of, like, the... the Mm, you know, studied effects that are already released, but if you wanted to really get in deep, you'd probably have to talk to somebody who was in more of the experimental uh, treatments, you know, but there are a lot of things that we are bringing to market now that are mm-hmm. regular products that are very effective um, in a variety of psychoses and, you know, depressive episodes, things mm-hmm. like that. Um, maybe I can, and she's like clicking around her computer, uh, get some more information about what you're looking to accomplish and get you with a specialist. That would be great. I'd be happy to talk to someone else. Okay. If you're not the right person. Yeah, and she's kind of like talking to you and setting you up, like the idea that you could talk to one of their like research doctors at some yeah. point. Um, you know, she's getting the idea that she's in over her head at this point, and it's not just going to be a simple sales call. You know, and like how many? And while you're talking, she's also sales pitching you. So she's mm-hmm. like, so like how many cases do you deal with? I mean, what's your volume like? I'd say right now it's about sixty, but that's. Wow. Yeah. Is that like a lot for you, or is that not very many? Well, I used to have a partner in the practice, but um, they're not with us anymore. Uh-huh. And um, so 60 was pretty manageable, and we had a little bit more support administratively. So right now, 60 feels a little busy for me. You know, on my LinkedIn uh, group, I've got over a 1,000 doctors in the local area who are yeah, psychologists. Yeah. I don't know if you're interested in looking at somebody as a potential partner. You know, I might be in the future, for okay. sure. Cool. That's great. She's just clicking away, clicking away, clicking away. So, do you want to talk with somebody who deals with more experimental treatments? Would that be better for what you need? Yeah, I mean, if it's not too much of a trouble for someone, I am really interested in hearing about some of these new cutting-edge uh-huh. therapies. Can I, can I like put you on a phone call with somebody, like a conference call maybe? Would that be good? Um, is there anybody I might be able to talk to in person? Because I kind of have a hearing thing, and in person's really the best reason best way for me to communicate with people that's kind of why I wanted to come in today okay do yeah. you want to make a persuasion role at this point because that's the kind of thing you're looking for yes, so you, want to, you want to push that right so yeah. okay Later, yeah now doctor. you do have another ability which is influence which is more supernatural and extreme so if you feel like this is something where you really need to control the situation influence is better than persuasion not necessarily better no I want to give her a chance so. okay. I'm gonna give her a chance so right. my persuasion so it looks so like you've got what, a, a, a D8? D8. Okay, so that's a different die. That's okay. this one here, actually. Just kidding. And then you need to roll the 20-sided die, too. Okay. I can notice all the die shapes now. Look out. Uh, 15. 15. And she's like, yeah. Um, I mean, if you wanted to, like, take lunch, I mean, maybe after lunch I could get you in touch with one of the doctors. Oh, sure. That would be totally fine. I, mean, I could put you in touch with Dr. Roberts, who does um, some of the clinical therapies. Um, okay. They'll be available at 1 o'clock. That sounds wonderful, Amanda. You're so helpful. Thank you. Awesome. I'm glad that worked out. Don't make it an expensive lunch. I have another cookie. Yes. Yeah, I need some cookie. <clears throat> I think it would be appropriate just to, you know, and shout we're that back. Street, right? Maybe put that on Twitter, yeah. Um, okay, cool. Oh. Don't take an extensive lunch if you don't have it in the budget. <laughs> I have all kinds of money to buy my own damn lunch. I'm just oh, going to okay. get a turkey pesto sandwich, though. It's not that serious. We can lure the guy into the van. So that's all set. Um, <laughs> oh, no, you have to kidnap your doctor now. <laughs> yeah. So Awkward. I've got that in the system for you. Um, do you have lunch plans? Do you want to join me? And we can go to the bistro down the street? Oh, sure. That sounds lovely. All right. So Amanda, like, grabs her purse and just, like, grabs her key ring, and she's, like, ready to go. It's, like, 11.15. Okay. As we're looking through her camera, uh, is there, like, a badge or anything that's like clicked on her. Yeah, Amanda's got the badge on the waistband of her pants, and you know, it has like a green stripe across it, has a picture of her, there's some sort of barcode information on there. Can we take a, can you screenshot that? Yeah, I was yes. going to say, copy that. Enhance. <laughs> sure. Enhance. <laughs> All the cool things in the spy and like, uh, you know, thief movies we got to be able to do. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, copy worst, that. <laughs> worst comes the worst, we, one of us can always go into the bistro and Nab bump it. into her. 
That's what I was kind of thinking about. I don't do kidnapping. Well, that's, that's, that's where I draw like the line. That, that's where I draw the line. You know? Yeah, because isn't there a way to copy that card? Probably yeah, pretty easily. I should have that ability, right? <laughs> yeah, but also, like, you know, if it's like a chip thing, which she uses to access everywhere, I mean, we may only be able to get to the second floor and may not have all the access. Well, that and I was more, con- Dr. more worried about. Dr. Roberts! I was more worried about when we actually do our thing. We would hate for her to show up at the same time we're doing our thing. You would like it'd be like a huge red flag. Hey, he, these are my business associates, Doctor, Doctor, Doctor Fine, Doctor <laughs> Howard, and Doctor Fine. <laughs> you guys have got this all figured out. <laughs> so you end up at this hip bistro down the street. They do have a turkey pesto sandwich, and Amanda has a small salad mm-hmm. and a water. <laughs> so. <laughs> That sounds right. awesome. Distracted by my own seltzer. <laughs> yeah. yeah, while you guys are all in this van in the middle of the L.A. day, you know, eating, like right now, yeah, eating like truck or food truck, like pirates. pirate's booty, I mean, something like that. And it's probably like 90 degrees in this van because it's L.A. I, I swore to God I was going to get the AC fit before this. <laughs> 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 yeah. so if it's Coke slushy. Yeah, no, it's not even Coke. It's like... Ice. RC Cola slushy. Yeah, it's, it's an RC Cola, so I'm like, oh. Right? It's the best. I haven't had an RC Cola in like 30 years. Oh, man. If only they were our sponsor, that would be so great to have right really Try the RC Try Cola! <laughs> <laughs> Try out the Cola! It's good! <laughs> so you go through this business lunch, and basically Amanda is just trying to talk you into joining every professional association she's got in with. She's trying to get That's you cool. to like get some samples brought over. Yeah. You know, talk about volume, increasing business size. You know, maybe you're going to want to join their like preferred doctor's network and all this stuff. It's well, just obviously. constant stream of talk. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She can just keep going. It's yeah. fine. I'm just nodding and okay. eating. And she has a fairly pleased like look on her face as she is like cutting the salad up into small pieces and like eating it delicately. So she just sees like county money. Yeah. Like yeah, this is good. Yeah, I mean if she yeah. could have her eyes become dollar signs, it would probably yeah. happen at this point. So she's looking forward to this continuing. Cool. Um, okay. So business lunch wraps up. It's about twelve thirty. Um, next plans, you know, just while away some time, head back in there at one. Yeah. Cool. Okay, anything going on in the van? Um, I got a question, how much explosives do I have? A reasonable amount for a person to carry for a job of this magnitude. Okay, so I'm yeah. just going to put, like, what, 64 then? I'm, I'm just going to imagine that if you need it, you've got it. Okay. And if you find yourself without it, it's entirely Felicity's fault for not getting you all the supplies you need. Right. Awesome. Yeah. No, I'm just throwing that in there. Fine. Okay. I'm just kind of curious because, like, I want to know how much supplies I have. Sure. In the spirit of open legend, I'm not going to make you worry about quantity unless it's really an issue. Okay. Cool. So enough worry. to blow LA back into the Stone Age yes. is a skosh too much. Right. When you decide to fill this van with explosives and drive it through the front door, we'll talk. But I mean, <laughs> other than that, we'll talk. he's like, "Take the van. Too. <laughs> we need that yeah. <laughs> to eat our horrible burritos and drink our RC cola. Check out that tweet, RC cola. That's right. And now it's at like <laughs> 95 degrees as you get closer and closer to afternoon in the van. So. Uh. Excellent. We're so <laughs> gonna take a shower. Uh, I'm already out. I'm like, oh, uh-huh. <laughs> I'm already in the middle of the street. Going, I can breathe. <laughs> Good stuff. And you probably hear, don't get in the middle of the street. You, God, <laughs> I have a gun right here. <laughs> even if you're on the shoulder in LA, somebody's gonna hit you with a car. Oh yeah. So I mean, yeah, you've got people constantly <laughs> screaming by you and by couriers that are almost hitting you. Everything's a stream of action. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I mean, that's I know. how I, I am. Yep. Delicious. Okay. So Felicity, She's how like, are things looking on the network? Are you looking at anything for? Um, I'm thinking like things are looking good. I have a question about elevators. Yeah. How many elevators did you say there were? Six. There were six total. Like, six in that bank. There was a, the service elevator. Okay. And are all the elevators the same? That's a great question. How are you going to find that out? Um. I was going to have our doctor try to take a different elevator than she did this morning. Cool. Because <laughs> maybe one of them goes down to the basement levels. I can do that. Pretend you're lost. Yeah. Or pretend you forgot something. Works for me all the time. 
especially when I want to go in the girls' bathroom. Oh, oh, I'm lost. Oh, sorry, wrong bathroom. You don't want to be in that. <laughs> yeah, I know. I heard. It's real. <laughs> Oh, they have a couch in there. I don't know what that's all about. But. They have a couch in them, and sometimes, like at a department store, also. It's weird. Maybe it's for. I don't want to sit on a couch in Macy's bathroom. Maybe it's for the pregnant women. Yeah. Anyways, they really don't use the space efficiently, though, so it kind of makes sense if you ask me. We got distracted. Yeah, yeah it's good. <laughs> Squirreled. <coughs> okay, so we got about five minutes to one. <coughs> all right. Everybody's so. done what they want otherwise. I think so. I think yeah. we've got we have the, information about elevators. Yeah. Yeah, well, if you guys want to shout stuff out as it comes up, yeah, we'll do that. But so at this point, he's going to walk back in there. She's going to get her appointment taken care of. Uh, Dr. Silverstein is going to. Are you going back at the security desk? Oh, yeah, because I'm back in the lobby now. Yeah, and when you came down for lunch, they took your little plastic, or like a sticker Rude, badge. Yeah. Again? Uh-huh. So now I have to go back up. All right. So I'm going to go up in a minute. Well, Same thing. Okay. Yeah, what do you there do? are two guards right now. During this entire time, I'm just prepping the explosive, so... Uh, yeah. That's so about it. At 12.50, there's just two guards. Two guards. Okay. And you've got the one who's still punching numbers on the keypad, same one as before. The mm-hmm. one who swipes the badge is sitting at the end, still looking bored. So you're missing monitor looker. Okay. So... 12.50 on monitor looker. Yeah. So the badge... Or, uh, yeah, the badge operator is here. Can I help you? Hi. Hi. I'm back. I mm-hmm. am. got yeah. an appointment with Roberts at 1 o'clock. Dr. Roberts? Yes, okay. Dr. Roberts. I don't know his first name yeah. or her first and name, but Manuel, first name. Manuel, you have to take her down to B1. Um, and Manuel stands up. Oh. Yeah, I get so. Okay, B1. Um, follow me over this way, uh, doctor. Oh, do I need a Easily. sticker? Oh, yeah. Um, here you go. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Uh, and he walks over to the turnstile and swipes the card. And this time when you walk in, he's got to go in with you. Okay. You have to take one of the last two elevators. Oh, okay. So it walks over there. Elevator comes up. He opens the door, like puts his hand on the inside as you walk in. Gets in, and there you've got the same row of buttons, and then there's also a little badge swiper here. Mm -hmm. And then B1. So he swipes the badge and hits B1, and it stands here. There's no B2 button? No B2 button. The elevator goes down to B1, and he gets out. It's just the two labs, so it's the one on the right, and he walks up with you. And so the two labs are like this, and the doors look at each other, mm-hmm. and they've got the swipe card next to the door. So he swipes it, and you hear a little at, ah, and he swipes it again, and you hear a beep, and he clicks it open. Hey, Dr. Roberts, and there's a tall, kind of thin, you know, like 40s, 50s-ish, you know, white guy over there, you know, with a real close-cut haircut, and he walks over. Um, hi, are you Dr. Silverstein? Hi. Okay. It's nice to meet you, Doctor Roberts. Nice to meet you. Shakes your hand. Um, we're good, man. We got this. Okay. And, and while he walks off, um, come on inside. We're going to close the door. <coughs> so he closes the door. So this is where we're working with some more experimental behaviors mm-hmm. and uh, what's the term, treatments and so forth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So continue, Doctor Shop Talk. Mm-hmm. Um, anything in particular you want to find out in this conversation? People in the room, you see Dr. Roberts has two assistants. Both mm-hmm. of them have doctor on their name tags when you're looking over, but they look, you know, pretty young, like 26, 27. Okay. So, okay. Probably not even real doctors. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> you never know. This badge comes right off. <laughs> They've got computers. They have a <laughs> fairly, like, fake. simple lab set up for chemicals. You know, they call the person who's last in their class in medical school. Doctor. Doctor. Da-da. Same as I'm a lawyer. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and so they've got a lot of uh, computers here, and it looks like most of what they're doing is done on computers for like molecule simulation and so forth. Okay. But then the physical like lab equipment, they do some basic like looking at stuff through a microscope and some simple testing, but most stuff is done by computers generating like correct codes being sent to a lab, drugs are generated, and then they're brought in for testing. Mm. That's what we want to know more about oh. the process of it all. Um, do we see... Um, Roberts' is, um, ID. Yes. Yeah, he wears it right here on his white lab coat. Just Take a picture of it. Screenshot. <laughs> cool, cool. Screenshots. Enhance, yeah. Yeah. Just saying maybe we can go undercover as those guys. <clears throat> maybe. I don't look like some 40 to 50 something. Well, that's why you can change the picture. You know, mm. person right here. Have your. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Anyway. <laughs> so, do you think of any other info you want to get at this point? 
try to see how the entire process goes downstairs. Well, I want to know how the whole room is laid out. Okay. So you've got like a L-shaped lab, mm-hmm. and then behind that there's like a separate like a wash station and then like a supply closet that seems to adjoin to both, or not adjoin, but be used by both rooms. So there's an interior access here, and then it looks like there's probably an exterior access. So you've got supply closet, bathroom, this lab is shaped like an L, the other lab is probably shaped similarly. Mm-hmm. And then you saw when you walked in, there wasn't a guard station or anything like that. But as you go down that corridor, it looks like there's probably a place for like one guard to sit at a terminal. Okay. So central corridor, two labs, closets. Is this guard more um, suited up as with like body armor or a heavier gun? Um, uh, yeah, or yeah, it's just a in standard. terms of like like a quick glance, it looked like they were like they had a sidearm, but it was probably like a taser or something like that, not mm-hmm. a pistol. And then they looked otherwise normally equipped. Okay. Okay. What kind of doors are there to the labs? Can I see the people in the other lab? You cannot see the people in the other lab. The two doors are like frosted glass. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't look like they're super security doors or anything like that, but they've got metal frames and frosted glass on the fronts. Oh, so it's like one of those doors, like if it closes, it like sh- it like kind of like blocks out the view? No, it just has like glass that's got that, you know, frosted coating to it. Oh, okay. Just so it's like a privacy glass. And then they've got like a normal maglock type door on each side. Oh, awesome. You might want to make some thermite pencils. Yeah, and pre- copy, um, prepping those right now. You're going to need a lot of thermites. <laughs> I know nothing about demolition. Me either. Um, I'm not sure I do either. I there just we go. Name on a sheet, so. Well, is there anything that you all want to know? Uh, I would say downstairs. Well, we don't want to push. Do you have any ideas about how I'm going to yeah. do that? Yeah, I just manufacture this everything in this lab. Do they have a secondary location? Yeah, you don't want to press too hard, or else something. Yeah, it's going to feel suspicious. Yeah, so I think you just use gather as much inf- info as you can in this room, and then we should work from there. Just like start wandering around as you're talking to them, and this is like we're talking all mm-hmm. under here. Sure, sure. Okay. Yeah. So just like wander off. Okay. And point to something and be like, hey, what's this? That what sounds Jim obnoxious and not at all smooth. Right, right. That's true. So I think it might be... So when you use influence, uh-huh. um, do they know that that's what's happening? That's what I'm Okay. Yeah. Because I definitely have some... I definitely would love to know some more things from this guy, but... Okay. We just met. He doesn't know me from Adam. He's not going to tell me shit. Uh-huh. Makes sense. Let's say my control in or whatever I'm, I'm about to do. So, um, I definitely, I want to know, um, I want to know a couple of different things. I want to know, I want to know if this guy is, like, a good guy who's just, like, thinks he's just doing his thing mm-hmm. and has, does he, or does he have anything to do? Mm-hmm with the other stuff that's going on. Um, because if he doesn't know anything, he doesn't, there's not a lot of use he has for me. Mm-hmm. Um, besides maybe being able to use him to get back onto the level, this level of the building. Um, so I want to know that. And I also okay. want to know what it is he's trying to make. So if he is trying to sell me, if he is going to try to sell me something, what does he think he's selling me? Like, because obviously he's not going to sell me the, like, the thing that I'm here for, really. Uh-huh. Because that's some top secret nonsense. Okay, so you go ahead and make a persuasion roll, and I'm going to counter that with a deception roll. Oh, shit. And we're going to see how that goes. Okay, so persuasion. Yep. Which so one was that? Right there. Eight. Okay, so. Is that this yep. one? And okay. then 20 as well. Alright. Still can do it. Oh, okay. that was terrible! Ouch. So bad. So, Nothing good is happening to okay. me right So now. the way it's that okay. Open Legend works is a lot like the way that Apocalypse World works. You either have the story continue moving, where you have success with a twist, or you have failure but. So the way this is going, when you're talking to him and you're trying to find out like what his thought process is and so forth, mm-hmm. it's coming across for him. He's a scientist. He's not like super great at meeting people and so forth. Yeah. And he's getting the feeling that you're personally interested in him more than you're interested in the lab and like okay. you're trying to find out about him. And so you know maybe he's... 
he's I'm picking up a little it. bit more of that vibe. Yeah. And so, well, you know, uh, I've I've been working here for like several years now, and I mm -hmm. think the work that we do is really important to helping people, you know, lead normal lives and feel. Oh, um, absolutely. Yeah, and to you know be better people at dealing with situations that can be very difficult for people to deal with, and. Um, Difficult situations like being locked up in this basement lab all day, right? Right. It's, you know, it's it's tough. There's, uh, you know, you know how it goes. When you do research, there's a lot of sacrifices in terms of, like, personal time and uh -huh. uh, how you deal with things. But it's um, it's rewarding work, and we've, we've been recognized in the community for our ability to make a difference. Do you get to, like... Do you live here in LA? Like, have you do you, have you gotten any time mm -hmm. to like you know get used to the city or like, go um, anywhere, do anything fun? Yeah, I, I don't really do a lot of that, but uh, you know we get out. Uh, yeah, we we have some time where we go out and like there's like a local bar that's known for like pub trivia that we usually we do pretty well. Aww. Uh, we do really well in like sciences and um, sure. You probably need some movies. like pop culture. Um, uh, girls on your team though, right? Right. We, we do really well with like Star Wars and, mm -hmm. um, you know, like a classic 80s TV is really oh, good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, not, like not Knight Rider, right? Right. And <laughs> we never do very well in sports, but you know, we'll, it's okay. It's only yeah, part of, it's only one category. Yeah. That sports is not really my like pub quiz thing either. I'm more of like a pop culture, Whitney Houston songs and 90s girl television like Felicity. Oh, we never do. Um, we never do very well in those categories. Oh, that we show. could help you. <laughs> I think that me and my friend could really help your team. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think that would be like a lot of fun. Well, um, yeah, uh, it's Tuesday. It's actually pub trivia day today. But um, anyways, maybe at some point in the future, if you were not busy with your practice and you wanted to. Oh, you know? I only see patients like in the early part of the day. Oh, I think yeah, I yeah. stayed left fairly late. But that reminds me, are we still off tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> and so if you found yourself free and wanted to maybe... Um, that would be just, wonderful, because, you know, I haven't lived here that long. I really don't know a lot of people, and it would be really awesome to meet some other MDs. Um, I could give you my, uh, my, my phone number. And yeah, you would, that'd be uh, great. He, he's, like, doing this for a while, because he's got a pen and has no paper, and then he, like looks around and finds the paper that comes out of one of the machines and like writes this number down and goes here. And you, you can call me Charles. Charles. Uh, Charles, right. Some of my friends call me Charles. Charles is in charge. Of our days and our nights. Oh, you got it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> she really likes singing. Good job. Oh, she really likes 80s TV shows. We'd like that. That's also up. probably true. I mean, her name is Ellen Ripley. She's Aww. pretty much into good media. She it is alien. It's a alien guy, yeah. 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 Good job, Ripley. Ellen Ripley! <laughs> Ellen Ripley goes back under the table. <laughs> Hiding from the She's table. beating the shit out of me with her tail. After about an She's hour like and a half of getting into personal conversation, Dr. Robert Associates remind him that he has something that he's got to complete by the end of the day. And so he... Um, uh, so it was very nice to meet you. And, Wonderful, uh, me too. Yeah, and, um, hopefully, we'll see you sometime soon. And um, th thank you for coming in. And I'll get uh, Dr. Baxter to show you up. James Baxter. Sure, sure. Why not? <laughs> James Why not Baxter. Baxter. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we're a little adventure time yeah, cool. to this house. You guys are having fun. It's good stuff. Hey, if I had the My Little Pony roll book over here, we'd be looking at it right No, now. that's why I left it over here. Okay, so it's like 3.30 by the time you get out of here. Oh, wow. Yes. So it's getting hot. He, he is an awkward talker. It's yes. getting hot out. Yeah, you guys have raised another four or five degrees in the van. <laughs> the van doors are kind of open, but not quite open, so that way it's not, not like too open. clandestine. Yeah. Yeah, the LAPD be interested in yeah, <laughs> sketchy ass vans. Yeah, you already had a guy come by thinking that maybe he would like talk to you about some stuff, and then yeah, that's about and it. Then, and then he saw like the pistol in my waistband. <laughs> right. I'm not into that. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's that's probably typical. Well, I'm surprised he didn't pull out a gun of his own. Right. <laughs> That's right. It is LA. That's what you do. Everybody's seen that movie, right? Okay. So, <laughs> Freddie, Freddie, get in the van. <laughs> well, we gotta go pick up the doc. You're not fine. 
So I get in, but I'm only in my underwear because it's really hot. All right. Great. Oh, sweet. <laughs> 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 Is it the hardest yeah. underwear? Too? Oh, it is. Like yeah, you can totally see the junk. Ripley and Adam are like totally having a contest to see if you have the most fun at the table. She's not her, like, it's like a plush sushi. There's no reason I would even go with her. It's like a plush in her eyes. It's old screenshot have. that. <laughs> Give me that toy. Give so me that we, sushi. I bring the danger van around. <laughs> you pick up the dock. Pick up the you, dock. Pick up sushi. We go back to our uh, go get it? work location area where it is air conditioned. Yeah. It's okay. also kind of where I live. All so. right. You guys, you guys need like a real car, right? I have a real car. Do you have a car? I have a nice car. Oh, I got a fast car. Yeah, fast car. Yes. Like that kind of fast car? Mm, not, 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 not Tracy. Chapman. Chapman. Not <laughs> I don't even know if you can even drive. I really shouldn't be allowed to. The meds, I mean, they make me see crazy things. <laughs> oh, I must be going blind. Four people. <laughs> Dude, do you ever get the illusion there's like, you have like three eyes? What? <laughs> you, you got him something for that, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, speaking of something for that. Do that. All right. Do that. Thank you, Jenna. And I was like, I will take one too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, after all, you gotta get <laughs> your you. full balance meal. Totally. You did a great job, Doc. Thanks for going in there. And okay, so. Are you kidding? I have a hot day later. This is totally worth it. So we have a a more recent updated floor plans, but it's not 100 percent complete. Okay. Wait, how did she get out of there? Probably walk right through the front she door. She got escorted. Well, like, can you just go up the elevator by yourself? Well, down in the elevator this time, right? Well, I was on B1. Yeah. There's no B2 button, though. You don't need someone to swipe people back up. Well, um, we'll probably need an escort. Yeah, I was going to say, it's probably that security guard that was down there probably escorted you back up. Mm. I don't know. I mean, on the way back, one of the doctors escorted her up. Oh, yeah. Okay. James Baxter. Apparently his name is James Baxter. All right, then. There you go. <clears throat> so... You don't watch Adventure Well, I'm not really. And anyways, okay. apparently after the, like, the third time you made that reference, you went, um, uh, I don't watch television. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said James <laughs> Baxter. Right to the guy. James Baxter is a uh, horse that walks around on a beach ball. That makes more sense now. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. yeah, I don't watch. His backstory is really depressing. It's been a while since I watched it. Anyway, so a more updated floor plans. I think it's DVR right now. But it's now. not 100%. <laughs> we have outdoor photos, but it doesn't help get us to B2. And we have 15 stories. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, we have pictures of two identity or ID cards. Well, you, you have the three downstairs. Three downstairs. You have the one for the sales rep. Yeah. And mm-hmm. security. One for security too, right? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, just a get, uh, just a, a question. Can you hack in and try to get as much info info as you can without actually alerting anyone? Sure. I know you can't get everything, but I mean, you should be able to at least get some type of payroll so you know how many guards there are. Yes, I can find out. Really? Or if mm-hmm. they're privatized and they have their own. Yeah, at least some. You need. That you just follow the money, you'd be able to find how many people work there. Sure. Follow the money. Sounds easy, right? Follow the money. Yeah. You want to make that, uh, let's make that logic sure. again. So it's a 2d6 for the logic oh, plus a d20. Okay. Well, what were the security guards wearing? Because were they, did they have on like Asura badges? Yeah. Or this like. Yeah, everyone looks like they were else. like Asura branded. They were wearing okay. like blue blazers that had a Asura logo right here. Okay. okay. I hate blazers. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I Are you ready for this? All right. Not very good. Oh, <laughs> Only six. six. Okay. Well, apparently they have so an army in Guatemala. So <laughs> you're, you're trying to get into the HR department's website, and it is terrible old, like, Windows, like, 2000 Great. software. So oh. you say, screw it, and you go on LinkedIn, and you find one of the guards' names under a Sura Corporation, and then you go to his page and, like, link all the people in his department, and your estimate is there are about 12 guards. That are normal guards. Okay. Um, there's four on duty at one time. No day. We don't know how many is on the bottom, uh, the second basement though. Mm-hmm. And there's twelve estimated twelve guards. 
And we still don't know the way down there yet. Any ideas, Operator? What can you do? What can I do? I mean, I can clearly blow a hole into the building. It's just the problem is, it's like, that caused way too much suspicion. Well, didn't they say something about the last two elevators? Mm -hmm. One elevator would probably get on the B1. Who's to say the other one would go down to B2? That was a good point. I don't think I rode in that elevator. Yeah. Have you left the building already? Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, okay. we're back at the hideout. Okay. We're back at the honeycomb hideout, folks. Yeah. We're trying the, to put our clubhouse, whatever we're info doing. together. <clears throat> so, um, my best guess is to probably go in at night with the cleaning crew and try to secure this uh, one of the two elevators to at least try to get down to B2. I don't know how far we can go. I mean, we could we could probably raise one of the other uh, raise one of the other elevators, and we can go down the shaft to B two if we need to. Oh. I can I can I can. You don't even need to blow a hole. You can just open up the door. That depends if it's. I'm assuming it's manual locked, because everything else was in B one. So we're probably gonna probably have to blow it open. But yeah, we're, we're gonna need a, we're gonna need a backup plan now. That's just my guess, and so that's just using my way to get in. What about? I know I said it's cliche, but what about coming in through the roof? Or getting out via the roof? Dude, this entire thing's a cliche. That worked. Enjoy your cliches. Yeah. I guess I'll have to get a hold of uh, one of my pilot buddies. Okay, so you go through the roof. What else do you do? Well, no, we're that's gonna be our way out. Oh, our way out through the roof. So we 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 go through we go through the elevators and we go and we take the elevators up to the fifteenth and we just go up from there. Well, if we haven't blown the entire building apart, I would hope not. Uh, I'm gonna have to talk to Irish Tom and get some like go fast uh, clips. So we can just ride up the elevator cables. Those might be shut down. And if it's just a straight shot up from well, B1 Well, if up we to the top, get into the security system, we have someone that can control it. That would give us unlimited access to everything. Yeah, and then can lock out the guards that are following us. Because I'm assuming it's going to be me and you going in. And they're going to be hanging out. Well, she'll be. Back she'll be backing up. us up. She would probably be on her date getting more information from something else. I mean. That sounds like a euphemism. Getting more information. Oh, well, sorry. You are a charmer and a schemer. And that's what we love about you, Doc. Hey. So yeah, we could end up um, go through the cleaning crew at mid at when they go through. Lock down the basement, go down, and then we could take, find the security place first, actually. Then we can give her unlimited access. Okay. So, we gotta find the security office, and then she's gotta... And the most security office that we know of is right in the front, where there was three guards. Mm-hmm. And who's to say... Now, reviewing the footage, right does it look like that's the prime place to control the entire like building? You're saying, like, does it look like that's the entire first floor based on what you saw? No, no, no. I'm saying, like, from what we saw at those three guards in the security checkpoint, would that look like a place that could control the entire building? Um, they had the ability to generate badges, and they had basic views of monitors, like, that are in, like, the elevators or, like, okay. on the different so floors. Now. It looked like a pretty low-level security office. Okay, so yeah, we have to find a good one. Can like you... Where the supervisor is. Well, I was going to say, we can probably end up uh, checking the voltage. Because they have to cool down the servers. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, I'm just, thinking, hey, I'm just throwing here. out ideas. It's good stuff. It's good okay. stuff. <clears throat> I mean, okay, if we find out where it is... We can go in there, and we had not then have unlimited access. Maybe we can get more information out of you. 
Go talk to your doctor to right away. Yeah, we can still have another more time on this. You can keep an eye on the place at night too. We'll just use a different vehicle. Mm-hmm. Okay, so um, yeah, we're probably just gonna wait another day. Okay. So what do you guys want to do over the night? What kind of well, surveilling or what kind of steps do you want to try to take? Uh, I guess we're gonna do maybe a couple of quick passes, like drive. Not do like a lap every like hour or so, space it out over the course of the evening, and then uh, I think we would stop maybe around two, and then head back to the uh, clubhouse, and take a nap, power nap. Okay. Um. Other than that, it's just like maybe we would stop, park somewhere, and then maybe there's a parking garage, just yeah, do surveillance yeah. that way. Sure. And I mean, yeah, it's LA. So at this time of night, you can even get street parking. Mm-hmm. So this is about the only time of day, like during the middle of night, where you can find street parking. So if that's what you want. If it isn't, it's like, told you can't park there because of cleaning. So, right, right. Speaking so. of cleaning, this place is going to have a third shift the cleaning crew that's likely to be outside contractors. We was just hired yesterday, ma'am. <laughs> okay, so. After investigating the entire area, there's only really one clear entrance in, right? Mm-hmm. Right. So is that the front door? secured front entrance, right. Okay. And there's no loading dock, nothing like that. Um, they do have a cleaning crew that comes in in the middle of the night. They are expert cleaning, and they have a big white van that has expert written on it in blue, like, uh, you know, like sans serif letters. And they've got a picture of, like, a vacuum as their logo. Take pictures of that. Uh-huh. Yeah, everybody wears like white polos and white pants, and they carry in all their own equipment. They've got like the big mop, uh, whatever the term is, cart, and things like that. Um, yeah, you see at one point a floor polisher going on the first floor. So, anything you want to prepare for the night? Anything you're trying to find out? I uh, she was going on the uh, pub. Oh, my going on the pub tonight. trivia. Are you guys going to go do pub trivia? I'm definitely going to go do pub trivia. All right. Hell yeah, you need a sweet talk to the doctor so we can get more information. And you brought along yeah. your friend. A James Bastard. <laughs> there you go. I mean, you do need the pop culture person. Right. Oh, that's my forte. There you go. <laughs> so they have three doctors. Then you have earbuds, <laughs> too. So it's like, who was have you Darth won? Vader in Star Wars? Who did the voice? What are the, what are the answers? What are the answers? Special for 16 Uh... Orson Welles. That's the guy. That's the guy. Right, right. No, <laughs> so there are three doctors in this office, and apparently their team has been playing like at a disadvantage because of the fact that it's a, like, what's the average turn team for pub trivia? How many people do you Six people. And so they have three. And so okay. they've been doing very well in certain categories, and they just don't have anybody else who will hang out with them at all. So Dr. Baxter, Dr. Roberts. Uh, Dr. Roberts is wearing like a Hawaiian shirt that looks like he probably like grabbed that out of his office on his way out. And like the office khakis. Yes. Dr. Baxter is wearing a white shirt and it's like very clearly just recently had the necktie pulled off because it has like those little crimp marks and so forth. Mm-hmm. And he's got like the buttons that are undone. Mm-hmm. But white shirt, khakis. And then the third doctor, whose name is Thomas, apparently, um, you know, younger lady, very short cut hair, very serious. And she is the ace. She handles all the Star Wars trivia apparently. And things that are mildly like, you know, real life things. Like not not science questions. Okay. Show your first name. Um, sure. How about Suzanne? Okay. Okay. So now there are five people on this pub trivia, and they are all like super socially awkward. But anytime a question comes up with science, they've got that buzzer down so fast. They're ready to rock. So that's about all they can do. Get them the cut loose. Dr. Roberts orders a blue Hawaiian. Oh, no. Blue, sir. He is so, he is so <laughs> tragic. <laughs> like, Dr. I'm going to sleep with him just for you all. Just so you know. Please <laughs> don't wear your glasses. <laughs> the other two I'm each have like definitely leaning on my glasses. <laughs> oh, my. Well, good thing we're not, you know, and watching says, them like, on video. Yeah, maybe he's just into that. Just at least videotape it and give it to her later. <laughs> So I picture this woman like so Lilith Crane from Sci- uh, from Frasier, by the way, from Cheers, like with the bun and the like severity. So okay, oh. that's what you should be picturing <laughs> alongside you know, 
like Bill Murray over here. You stop watching TV, life becomes really sad. For this is like 20 years ago. I know, and I'm like, I'm okay. trying really hard, but I haven't watched television in like 12 years. Just like so. picture like severe black hair bun. No, I think I'm, I'm good on this. I think I got okay. it. Okay, all right. Okay. In there. <laughs> so, yeah, after about 45 minutes of pub trivia, um, are you guys doing sports? Do you guys do sports at all on your team? No. No. You're not even going to pull I, out like a phone I Google. I can function like, yeah. if it's okay. football or baseball. Right. Like, some I like know a few questions. I know teams. Okay. Yeah. Hey, you know well, that one guy. On the team Hakeem with Olajuwon. the arm. Hakeem <laughs> you, uh, you get some Final Four stuff, and there's yeah. some weird curling questions. Okay. So it's just like, those okay. are like total dodges. There are some zoology questions for some reason that are immediately answered on the team. Okay. No time whatsoever. Um, somehow somebody throws in a reference to the house MD, and like they get that too. Okay. So, um, yeah, no Star Wars this time. Disappointing. Yeah. Yeah. So, Sex in the City, you got that? Okay. Yeah, the, maybe. The All right, that didn't go very well. Um, yeah, Asshole. there's there's a few other topics like that. Like uh, What's that guy's name that we saw last time we were in L.A. that was on that show? Oh, uh, the gay friend. By the yeah, time I you get the friend. name of the actor. This is like how fast it goes, and like by that point, like everybody else has already scored on the pub trivia. So. <laughs> yeah. They won that twenty dollar gift certificate. They're shaky. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Uh, I'm pretty so, sure that actor's name is Gay Friend. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I think it's like Willie. It's likely. It's Willie on uh, Garson. Yes, or? something like that. Yeah. Willie Garson. Yeah. <laughs> it's like wait, I can figure that out. Yeah. After we saw him, he was at the gallery opening that we were at really? last time we were in LA. Yeah. Anyway. After this round of pub trivia goes by, you notice that the receptionist from the pharmaceuticals department is on one of the other teams that's scoring very well mm. on all the pop culture stuff. Skinny tie? Skinny tie. Oh, he's the worst. You want him dead? <laughs> not yet. No, not today. Because <laughs> it just takes a little bomb in his apartment. <laughs> no! Oh my God. No one will know. <laughs> so, pub trivia wise, any information you're trying to get out of this? Do uh, Baxter and Thomas drink? Do Baxter and Thomas drink? They each have a light beer. Okay. Yeah. Right, shots. Oh, no. Shots. <laughs> shots. So we're going to do some shots. We're going to buy rounds. Okay. Just maybe one to get started. Right, we're going right. to buy rounds. Loosen them up. We're going to persuade them. All right. Let's do, do that. Do a shot. Sure. Feel free. Where's my things? Where's my things? We're going to persuade them. Well, I have 20 bucks in the budget. <laughs> I'm really yeah, because we spent it all on bombs and. Bombs Ooh! Eighteen. Eighteen nice. pretty good. Um, yeah, it's working out pretty well. You get that first first round going, but what are these shots of? Patron. And, that, oh, yeah. and that's what they say, and they're like, "What is? What? Oh, Patron! Patron? It's is a tequila. Like tequila. It's tequila. It's tequila. What oh. is tequila? It's a nice tequila. It's not this very good, nice, but it's really it good. It goes down really smooth. Yeah, really and Dr. Good. Thomas is like super hesitant, like gets kind of wild out of that. He's like, I've never really, I wasn't like in a sorority or anything like that. We can teach you how to do oh, that. We can that. totally <laughs> teach you. It's really simple. Oh. Just down the hatch. <laughs> Salt shot line. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like first you want to... No, 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 Suzanne, Suzanne, like this, line. give me your hand, <laughs> and, and I'm going to salt the it, salt. <laughs> and you're going to lick the salt, you're going to do the shot, and you're going to squeeze the lime it's in your mouth. It's probably the dirtiest thing that has been in years. It is, it is. <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm you're so going to love it. I don't know how to do this, let's do it again. No, <laughs> so you're going to take the shot and then the salt? No, no, no. Okay, so you, you get to see some of the best faces that you wish you were motion capturing for later. Okay. Just, or uh, screen capping for later. Yeah, they, if they had a, a face, like, website for this... Doctorstakingshots.com, something like that. I would okay. totally visit that. Yeah, <laughs> would yeah. It's the new people dressed at Walmart. Like Does that. it have yeah. like an age gate? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Phrasing. <laughs> Phrasing, indeed. All right, so they all, everyone does a shot of tequila. Yeah. Baxter starts immediately becoming like very like rosy cheeked, like right face. He does that blotchy thing. And he's Aww. like, you know, his eyes are kind of teary. Poor yeah. Baxter. Poor Baxter. We should do one more. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> we don't want them to throw up all the information right away. We want to steal stuff from them, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so don't say that. And since we're the ones that are going up and getting them, <laughs> we're not drinking. Or at least one of us. Is well, you guys drink. are doing the yeah, three, two, one shots, and as they go up, oh, you're no, like, yeah, we've got like shots. They're just yeah, they're not tequila. Right. 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 So you guys got this all figured out. Yeah. Okay. 
it proceeds like this. There are some drinks. Sushi time. The, <laughs> the um, pub trivia challenges, your score is getting worse as the team goes on oh. because they're having trouble with buttons and also with answers. And they just, they're like, it's like they're melting. It's like they're just like slowly getting closer to the table and like their elbows are taking up more and more room. And they're um, not thinking about what they're saying and they're having, they're having trouble. How many shots was this? Two. Two. <laughs> not a large number, right. The light beer drinkers are pretty much out and Dr. Uh, Roberts has like made a couple of like passes on his blue Hawaiian. But <laughs> That's right. He's not really sure about this whole thing either, so, okay. Is it the alcohol that you're not sure about, Dr. Roberts, or is it us? This is, um, you know, we don't get a lot of, like, uh, people join us on our pub trivia nights, so this is, this is, um, notable. Uh, we, we don't usually have people join us for pub trivia. <laughs> it's just, just like back there and just eerie enough that I'm like, I notice it when it gets quiet. I mean, Kat is probably waiting for this to turn into a slasher flick any second now. Oh, I can, that, that can happen. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, he can, he can, we can pull up to wherever they're staying at, and then, you know, you can come in there with a chainsaw and hockey mask. And, oh, oh, I could totally do that. And we can do, like, uh, intimidation. I don't think it would be right to kill Dr. Roberts before. Well, we're not going to kill him. I didn't say yeah. anything about kidding, killing. I was we just, just going to scare him a little. Pain is scary. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Chuck. <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> if we got some horror for you. Yeah. Wouldn't be called Chuck. Would interrogating be called, uh, be uh, persuasion? Would it, yeah, um, depending on what you're doing. It's probably presence. Presence, okay. Yeah. Do you want to interrogate him? Oh, I'm just saying, maybe an option. Or do you option. want me to be we, a little we, bit more casual? Oh, I'm just saying, it's just... If it, casual. If it ever gets down to it, it the, it's like Plan Z. We yeah. kidnap one of these guys. Well, so here's my suggestion. <laughs> I'll be honest. So well, you're the face Dr. Page. Roberts is the most like I mean he's a little melty, but he's not as bad off as our friends Roberts and Thomas or not Roberts Thomas. James Max. James Max. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's great. Mom? Good job. <laughs> She's ridiculous. That's right. Uh, she's the best. It's cool. Um, so, what I think, and maybe at this point, is a good opportunity for us to split up. She well, takes the two schwaisties, connects up with you. I don't know about letting you add them quite yet, yeah. just saying. Because... <laughs> I can take him back to the cloud house. You know, or take him maybe somewhere else that you oh, don't no. care if they see it. Like take their own house. house. I want to practice the chainsaw starting. Yeah. And then well, I take Robert and can't we just work on him a little Let's bit. take you guys home. Right. To know where you live. No. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Can I have your wallet? Something? Yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> what I'm seeing. Well, you guys That's what I'm seeing. So okay. we're going to split up. You guys we're can gonna, call they're it They're not going to win tonight. They're not, not going to win tonight. It does not seem like they have. Yeah, yeah it doesn't seem very promising. Yeah, you see <laughs> their, they, they have their, like, uh, you know, team name is the Epsilons, and they were, like, ranked number three, and now they are ranked number nine. <laughs> wow. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Ouch. That's a shame. That's... And they're probably going to lose their jobs afterwards. <laughs> there may be no jobs afterwards. Right, because there's a demolitions expert here, so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, so let's split up. I'll take one, you take two. Okay. Hand them around. What, what's going to happen next? It's a mystery. Are we taking shots? I don't think you put ice in shots. <laughs> I, I have noticed you can't say shots around that. But. Oh my. All right. Okay. So. What are you doing to us? Thank you. Can we get like know. a pitcher of water or something? It's like a thing we're finding out as we go. Oh, she's giving us margarita. <laughs> Thanks. Is Nothing the but the mixer? finest from Kirkland's and Jack. Oh, no, ready to shop at Costco. Yeah, excellent. That shit is good. Is it? I don't even give a shit. I mean, good. it's not like Patron, but it's for like pre mixed shit out of a bottle. Central. Can't beat it. I Thanks, Costco. Where'd you get it? Costco. Uh, Central really? should also be addressed. For real. Of course. Like, wow. That yeah. shit, like, so I'm almost 40 now. And, but for the 
most significant part of my life, my cho- my chosen my chosen drink choosing. has been a Nalgene full of this. <laughs> we called it Travel Rita. <laughs> yeah, give it up. I'll take Travel a Rita. Bit. I haven't had any. Right, the tiniest thing. Oh, yeah. Because my teeth. I don't think I can have any. Take a little bit. Take a baby. We got a seltzer. You want a lime seltzer? You want tap water? Ice water? Milk? Coffee? Tea? No, we don't have any coffee to be made, but we do have tea. I'm fine. You sure? Lime seltzer? Do you? Black stuff. An epic amount of bourbon? He said he can't drink. Right now. <laughs> this is how uh-huh. you really does games. I'm sorry. Pardon I know me. she I does. Drink, but thank you guys very much. I have my baby one. Do right. some water? Yeah, I wouldn't mind. Oh, thank you. Man. Okay. So, Robert. Oh, these were from shit. the hot sauce. Right? Just like right out of the thing. Ooh. It's like. Oh, so good. This is like $8. Okay, Costco? Costco? I mean, come on. We Costco see the checks on the wall. Maybe $9, right? $10? Yeah. Bucks? How much are I mean, those? RC Cola! Yeah. <laughs> April, if you're watching, Thanks, this. Yeah. <laughs> Our needs are minimal. I mean, come on, channel. We can handle this. Let's get some sponsorships going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll go wear that RC Cola. That gets going to wear a Kirkland's pre-mixed golden margarita shirt well, around. Dude, I would do that. Every game. There we go. Oh! All right. I'm also a fan of the bullet bourbon. <laughs> that was not eight dollars. That was like thirty bucks. But. Yeah, it's bourbon. So yeah, yeah. There you go. So yeah. Because I'm okay. from here, and this is Kentucky. I'm a bourbon person. So uh, anyway, right? yeah, we're doing good. So you got Dr. Roberts. All right. I have the. She's taking Schwasty one and two. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So they're basically passed out now. They are basically <laughs> like almost like an operative. in your car. Yeah. Okay. Or in the Uber, we're being responsible. Oh, okay, that's Uber good. It. So, yeah. okay, cool. I dropped him off at the clubhouse, and I am their Uber driver for the evening. Yeah, it's an Uber driver. It's perfect. Uber. <laughs> okay, make a I perception a check. You're gonna look for your uh, perception stat. You're gonna add that d20 to it. This one has perception zero. Perfect. So you just rolled the d20. <laughs> I was like, I oh, don't yeah. know what to do now. No problem. Twenty. Yeah. Oh, you get to roll it again. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, Okay. They each have their ID cards in their pocket. Sweet. So we're just gonna take both of those. Are they uh, are, are they, they conscious? To, are they can I can they answer questions? You can sure find out. Um Smack him and say, Are you awake? <laughs> well they climb into the convertible uh Plymouth Roadrunner that's green and the little Roadrunner decal has like a Army helmet on it instead of the racing helmet. So you're putting like four people in this <laughs> <Plymouth> <laughs> it's, it's, it's low low enough profile. seating for four. Yes. Yes. Her and then the two lab guys. It's like barely leaders. accurate. Yeah. It's perfect. Yeah. So they're behind you in the like like panel seat. It's perfect. Yeah. So and yeah. Can we just like literally ask them where's the basement two? How do you get down to it? Sure. <laughs> Go ahead and make a persuasion roll. Oh my god! It's this easy. Yeah. <laughs> and then deep. Four? This one, the yeah, triangle, right? It's triangle, yeah. Okay. Now I know what's doing it. Four. Okay, so 20, now you have 20. another die that's exploded. This one, okay. 21. 21. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> so Thomas, Thomas is pretty um, interoperable at this point. It's just another elevator. Where? It's, just, it's, like, it's like right next to the lab. It's like really easy. <laughs> That sounds right. Oh, Coming from a drunk guy. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas is at least a lady, but anyway. So like down the hall. Oh, I'm that sorry. Yeah. Coming from a drunk lady. It's just like down the hall. Okay, just like down the hall. Just down the hall. Okay. Left or right? Right. Okay. Uh, which way to your place again? Left or right? Um, <laughs> where are we? <laughs> just like. You guys are like somewhere in the city of industry. We're at the Hollywood sign. <laughs> All right, guys, Jackson. we're home. We're here. On. Get your get your shoes on. We're at Grandma's. Yeah, Dude, drop them in the middle of the desert. No, oh. Oh, not kill them, but just leave them there for a day. That so way we, we have, have time. Like, like IDs. Or something. Them. Can we just like take them? Well, them we gotta take their, their IDs, buildings. right? Yeah. You have their IDs. No, like, you they're, have their they're, phones. Their driver's license. Wallets. Yeah, I mean, they'll take like a day to get back if you take everything from them. We just take them over to some random car, you know, we carjack and then we park it in like a tow zone and then next thing you know they're on their way to like Nebraska. 
on a train or something like the other guys. I don't know. Okay. Real puppy. So we can have ribs. Sure. Right? You're like, yeah. okay. You guys can dish them wherever you want. You can leave them just like somewhere out on the side of the road if you want. They are pretty inoperable at this point. I'm not that horrible of a person. Well, so, you, you kind of left the one person that was blowing shit up at your face. Well, you're not going to blow everything up. You're right. I'm not sure. going to blow everything up. Just blow up your guys' stuff. No, something. <laughs> but it's my stuff, damn it. <laughs> uh, no, we, I think we should leave them at a bus stop in a well-lit area. In the, uh, in the near Hollywood. Okay, yeah, sure. Okay. Anyway, they feel like celebrities or they're part of some flash mob art. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> Drop them off. And, yeah. All right, we're here. Yes, and get out now. Oh, yeah. And they just like climb they over. Basically, <laughs> like yeah, you basically just have to like physically remove them from the car and leave them there. Okay. Okay, you guys have fun. We'll see you later. Uh. Well, wait. We need we need to get paid. Can can I make sure all your information is correct on your credit card and your ID? They're like, they're do like, you know their money? Can you do the phone? Because I don't. Know. They, they have no idea. They don't. Okay, your wallet. Can I see your wallet? Sure. And yeah, they're, they're like, like they're looking for it because at this point Felicity already has their wallets and their badges and their oh, phones. Okay. She doesn't have their shoelaces, but she's taking like everything else. From okay, so hey, can you clone this? Sure. Clone. <laughs> clone. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, she's very good at this. <laughs> All right. So uh, new okay, I, I, I just like type in yeah. a text or whatever to somebody. Hand it back. All right, you're, you guys are good to go. Okay, thanks. All right, have a good night. Just no. sit down right there. Uh, it's a multi-step process. You'll you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> you have left them at a bus stop somewhere in the middle of Hollywood. Excellent. West Hollywood. Oh. West Hollywood. <laughs> Neither Hollywood's good. Don't worry. <laughs> so accomplished. So all right. Like the next morning, they were all into work because we left them at the whiskey go go. We got like a biker gang that just drops them all. Yeah, could be. <laughs> and then Doctor Silverstein, anything you're trying to accomplish? Everything I'm trying to accomplish. Yep. Yep. <laughs> um, how am I gonna get an update? How am I getting an update from you all? Don't you have an earpiece? Then we both have earpieces. I don't know if we're still on. I would assume you still do. On? Okay. Just to make sure you guys won that. Uh, the questionnaire thing. We did not. Win In case there were any questions on explosives, we <laughs> were ready for that. Yeah. I mean, we had Google on standby. Sure. <laughs> That's <Just> cheating. <laughs> we're thieves. That's fair. Gosh, we are mad at us. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess I call Doc. Uh, hey, Doc, what's going on? As I'm driving with the speaker on, or I'm kind of like plugging the earpiece. What's going on? I got Felicity with me. What's happening? Uh, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm still at the bar. I went to the restroom, but Roberts is still at the table. Like, he's not going anywhere without me. Well, I've made we, that clear. Well, we got some information about how to get to that second floor basement. I'll oh. ask him to confirm, though. Yeah. Uh, ask him... He's not his turn. Ask him how to, how to, how they would get down there. Uh, what's he drinking? Blue Hawaiian. We did a couple shots. Well, see if he right. can see yeah. if he can step up to the uh, Long Island iced tea. If not, oh, it's gonna be thin. Adios. If not, give him a. Unless he uh, likes the blue, then you go adios. Then, if that doesn't work, give him a New Jersey Turnpike. The bar mm. rag. Oh, <laughs> okay. I'm like I'm terrified. I was terrified to ask. It. Now I know. Um, and you know, try to keep them on the blue Hawaiians. We just need to confirm that it's down the main hallway to the right on the first floor basement. Okay, don't worry, we're at a stoplight, we can wait. Okay, <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna just like start a conversation with him because, like, we haven't been talking about this, right? Because, um, I'm just gonna get him talking though because I feel like he's a little intoxicated, he's a little socially awkward, he doesn't get a lot of attention from women. Sure. So sure. I'm he's just going to get him talking a little bit. I'm going to ask him some questions, just like conversational styles. Where'd you go to med school? Oh, um, Johns Hopkins. 
Oh, Baltimore. Mm. Okay. I used to hang out in Baltimore for a little bit here and there. I was really obsessed with John Waters, but you probably don't know who that is. <laughs> I do. This uh, is the guy with the I don't think I've seen his work. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, the king of trash, um, and he's amazing. But um, you know, I think that he would love your shirt. Have oh. you spent any time in Hawaii? No. Oh my God, you have to go. It's amazing. I could take you because I have some business over there. Hawaii's amazing, and the weather is um, like it makes California look like a toilet. Honestly, sure, sure. yeah. The uh, yeah. The, the project Don't schedule the is fairly really, um, <laughs> really intense. It's an intense project schedule. Well, they can't just keep you locked up down there twenty four hours a day, Charles. Do you live in that lab? Are you just like in there all the time? Yeah, I mean, a lot, a lot of times. <laughs> I mean, is there like a break room? Do you ever just go like unwind, like play some solitaire on your phone? Or is there like, you know, do you shower at work? Do you have an apartment? What's there's, this? There's, there's a shower for me. Yeah. yeah. I have an apartment, yes. Um, and yeah, it's, it's you know, there's, it's not that bad. It's, you know. How'd you get hooked up with Asura? Um, they were hiring out of medical school. They were very aggressively recruiting, and yeah, their, their work is interesting. What about it's so interesting? Yeah, yeah. Cutting edge opportunities for pharmaceuticals to learn about how the mind really works and you know, work with some more experimental procedures. What's the coolest thing you've done since you've been there? Well, you know, we have a lot of uh, projects that are still undergoing testing. Lot of, lots of things I'm testing still. This isn't my space. <laughs> just Get the information about the elevator. <laughs> oh, yeah. God damn it, stoplight. <laughs> I'm just kind of hoping that he will work around to, like, how much time he spends at work. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Just I mean, being, just being tell snarky. Her <laughs> just be like, leave it. She should go away. <laughs> So like, just like I'm mean, such a helper. It's, it's a intense schedule. We're on there mm, 11 or 12 hours a day. Oh my god, 11 or 12 hours a day underground like a mole? Yes. Yes. Um, well, you, the work, I mean, you, you know how it goes. There's a lot of results and analysis. Yeah. Mm. I have no idea what to say to this man. <laughs> He's, he's You're the face. face. I know. <laughs> That's why I'm, when I'm hitting a wall, it's hard because I'm not sure what I need to do. Tell him he'd like to see his secret lab. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not a bad idea. Do you have a secret lab? <laughs> I think I might be. I exactly have a secret lab. lab. Do you have a secret lab? <laughs> oh yeah, it's where I it's where I do my side business. I make math. <laughs> I was one of the Powerpuff Girls, and I grew up. My father was Professor X. Let me tell you about my secret life. Uh, I thought all doctors have a secret lab. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, so. secret lab's uh, doorbell broke, and now I'm the one who knocks. <laughs> we have pictures of me whenever I make mistakes. It's, I am the danger. <laughs> It sounds like a lot of cloak and dagger. You make it sound very mysterious and exciting. That's Not at all boring, which is kind of how I used to think about research until today. Well, you know, there's just, <coughs> there's some areas that aren't open to public access, but there's, you know, there are a lot of things that they're um, working on. What are y'all working on down there? <laughs> just um, maybe like a little bit. It's so exciting to think that I can help some of these incredible Incredibly violent offenders turn oh. their lives around. Mm -hmm. There's I mean, a lot of behavior really, modification work being done. Yeah, it's promising. What like, what part of the brain did you say you're targeting? Um, insert pithy medical comment. Thing, about the important the thing yes. about the prefrontal cortex where consequences are right. considered and all that blah blah. You're now in charge of this section of the game. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's like, I like I literally have this conversation with students like. I'm like, why did you pee in an elevator? They're like, I don't know. And I'm like, I do. It's because your brain's still cooking. Yeah. And yeah, so basically, parts, those you parts. get several 
yeah. moments of conversation okay, like this. No, so this is where he starts brain, getting warned brain, about brain. the part of the brain that's affected. Oblongata, blah, 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 yeah. whatever. Yeah. 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 I get that yeah. conversation a lot with her. Mm-hmm. And you get the part about that the is... About the team and the elder. Mm-hmm. Unbelievable. Yeah, that's real. So as you continue on, Go he's ahead. got some more mentions here where it seems like he's trying to not mention to you that there is currently work being done to modify like the brain and to control its responses and things like that. Okay. He's trying so hard not to tell me. He has basically outlined the entire like you okay. know subject without actually touching into it too hard. Okay. Well, uh, can she maybe, like yeah. do a roll and read between the lines and? Yeah, I think that was it right there. Oh, okay. Never mind. Okay. <clears throat> I want to influence him to tell me exactly what it is and where it is. Cool. Yeah. So you got this charm ability right there. Okay. That's influence versus resolve, I believe here. So you're gonna yeah. add your influence die and your d20. So what is that a d10? So d10, the d20. You're gonna roll those two together. So you're gonna roll, yep. Okay. You just roll super, super high. That's the goal. Like a fifty. Come on! Oh, it's on the floor. Yeah, that happens. Yeah, it does. You got it. Okay. All right. Did you want to roll that again? All Seventeen. Right. It's pretty good. You have a feeling it's worked. What exactly is the project, and how do I get to see it? You would have to have access to the basement two level. It's a project that works on using sonic technology to control the brain and shut down the body. Does your ID badge go to the B2 level? Yes. Is there a security guard there at night? Yes. Will it be strange if we come into the lab at this time? Like if you took me there. I go into the lab often at night. It excites you to go see the lab. It does excite me to go see the lab. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, let me, let this me. This is my favorite lab right here. Let me is, set this, the other phone. She's like the shittiest lab. Oh, she's only like an oh. eighth. She's one eighth lab, but she That's looks plenty. like a lab, 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 right? Like How much more lab do you Oh, I know. It's all a lab tail. She's like, what are you doing? I love you. Can I lick your foot? No, okay. that's weird. Yeah, I definitely want to go see that lab. All right. And he gets up. So, yeah, I call Freddy Three Fingers, who is currently... I got, I got like, the explosives ready. I got, I have an idea of what's going on, and I got, like, Thermite C4. I got General Team T. <laughs> so, I, I'm good. Ringy dingy doodle, ringy dingy doodle. That's your ringtone. <laughs> So, just let me know. No, that, that's it. You're, I'm calling you right now. Oh, okay. So, so. So I got my in. I'm just looking for an exit strategy. Well, you guys can take the Uber. <laughs> then we'll go back to the building and do all that. So, we double as Uber and DoorDash. So, you know, sometimes we pick up food and we take people home. Oh, sure. I'm win, win. sesame chicken. <laughs> so, okay, uh, can you get the van? Can you drive oh. the van? <laughs> yeah. What was that? That's my phone. Oh, for real? Okay. Oh. That's good. That so, I thought I, I thought so I did So much has been, oh, I don't care. This I is just your like, cousin, Mom! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> no, Hi, um, Hi, I need you to head over to uh, the Target site. Um, I think we have a way in right now. So Got we're it. We're going to push. I'm going to meet you there. All right. Cool. Anything you want me to bring? I'll just pack up the, all the gear that I'm pretty sure that's mm-hmm. like on the side that's used for the Hi. host. Sure. Yeah. Hi, Brian. Yeah, make sure uh, you bring the mask and go to like the all night costume store on uh, <laughs> Sunset and Vine and go You want up. the Nixon or uh, JFK mask? How about uh, get the Mike Myers masks? You want the Mike Myers? You know I, I want the Nixon. So, <laughs> it's so sad because this store probably exists in LA and they probably yeah. know exactly why they are selling that mask at oh, 9 yeah. o'clock at night. It's mm-hmm. just wrong. That's true. Do you know that the original Mike Myers mask was actually um, Will, w- William Shatner's face? I did not. So that's one more for your team. I did not. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
Mike like Myers. Twelve dollar woolen shotgun mask. Yeah. <laughs> Mike Myers. It's like Mike Myers from Austin Powers, like in maybe. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, until you said it. Now, mm. now it's like. Now you've ruined it for the chat. Now you're I'm so sorry. Tweet is, you've been scooped. Maybe yeah. you can write something exciting about Ripley. Maybe you can put an alien day tweet in for Ripley. Yeah. If you guys need to take a break, by the way, because uh, you've been going at it for a while. Does anybody need to take a break? I'm good, honestly. Yeah, we're good. I mean, we're going to get down there and then I think we should. Well, it's like what, right? And see what we can do, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm just checking in. What if I Thank actually ordered myself a sesame chicken? Would that be bad? No. <laughs> hey, Cat. Yeah. You want to order a sesame chicken? Yes. <laughs> so. Oh, hey, Cat texted and said, if we need a break, let her know. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, okay. I missed that because my so phone was on, like, quiet times. All right, so while we were ordering sesame chicken, at the same time, what's the entrance strategy? Are we just going in the front door? Uh, we're going to go pick up the good doctor and her associate. Okay. He's going to bring the van around. Okay. I'm probably just going to be right at the front door waiting. Well, not at the front door, but like within view of the front door. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. And then when we get, when we get the doctor up there, um, we'll just sit there, kind of idle for a couple of minutes, and then uh, we'll mask up and head on in there. Okay. So, Dr. Silverstein, Dr. Roberts, are you guys going in masks, or are you just walking in? Are they going in separate from you guys, or are you all going in masks? Um, I'm on a date. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you're going to look normal, and then when we get downstairs, we'll mask up. So we'll just, like, carry our stuff in, in bags, and be like, oh, it's going to be like entering the Dyson building in Terminator 2. Okay. Oh, really? That's all we're going to do? Just walk right in? We have three badges. Oh, okay, yeah, you're very... I, I we, have, think that, we do have stinking badges. Okay, yeah. <laughs> we got badges, we walk in. Yeah, and you guys walk in, and there is one security guard there at the desk in the front. That's all you see right now. As Dr. Roberts walks in, he does like a, the wave like this, and the security guard kind of waves back at him and goes back to whatever they're doing on their computer, and the four of you walk in, continues doing what he was currently doing on the computer. Sweet. Dr. Roberts taps the uh, turnstile, whatever the term is for that, with his key card and it opens up. And he starts walking back towards the elevators. What's his sobriety level at this point? Probably fairly high, but charmed. Okay, so. alright. Okay. What um, elevator? I'm probably right behind them <laughs> with no, we're, my we're, guy. we're rolling in and we yeah. our badges. We kind of like mm-hmm. shake the badge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then we roll over to the gate and swipe. Yep. Yeah. Roll on through, kind of shoot a little salute and keep walking on. Yeah. Okay. And that's about the time Dr. Roberts is like, push the button and the elevators come out. And then he walks in and pushes B1 and swipes the card. Um, hold the, hold the elevator. Hold the door. <laughs> yeah, hold the elevator. There's an out there. I we'll guess me and him get in, it. yeah. Um, well, we're bringing her too, so. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, all I three of us. Yeah. That's right. You don't want to miss out. I was like, I guess I'm here too. Yeah. We'll, find a, we'll find a hard line for you. Cool. Okay. Um, the camera in the elevator. Yeah, there's a camera in the elevator. I'm currently looking down like this. <laughs> I put on the little ballistic face mask, I got from my Irish Tom and okay. flip it down, like staring away from the camera. Okay. I mean we're all kind of facing inward. The only people that are kind of being seen is Dr. Dr. Roberts is standing here like this. So. I got nothing to hide. Mm-hmm. Awesome. I so I behind one of them. It's fine. <laughs> and we, hand you, we hand you the Mike Myers mask. It's great. <laughs> Excellent. That will look as big as it's good. And the elevator goes down the floor, B1. And it's like, ding, and the door's open. The lab on the left, totally dark. Lab on the right, totally dark. There's a secure, like a supply closet door you can see over on this side. So if you were walking in, there's like a corridor going left and right, and you can see the supply closet door. And then the two labs are directly ahead, and you can see the edge of where that security station is. Okay, so 
assuming you two are just going to walk ahead. We can't just walk up. Well, you guys can distract him and then... Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like, maybe, well, we the, maybe we can how go to the... Maybe we can go to the security closet. I'm having a hard time picturing how y'all are dressed. We're probably in the... the um, uh, the jumpsuits for the uh, the cleaning crew. Okay. Like white polos, white pants. Yeah. That's why he doesn't care that you're with us. Yeah. Okay. So we kind of I well at least I go to the security closet because I see it, and I don't see the guard though, right? You don't see the guard yet if you're walking over the supply closet. Okay, so they're gonna keep walking by. I'm gonna want to make some noise around that closet though. Okay. So I open it up and I just. Okay. just and it has a very simple like normal lock on it. Yeah, I figured. Mm-hmm. So I just do I open it or do I have to pick it? You can try to pick it if you want. Screw that! Don't I got a little explosive. Oh god! <laughs> just a sure. little dab of C four will do you. Yeah, it's a good thing. Yeah. That lock went poof. Yeah, I'm not really worried about that lock. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, it was unlocked. <laughs> I just had to turn it the other way. God. Yeah, so you have a supply closet. Okay, cool. So I'm just, like, looking at the brooms, and I'm just, like, kicking them over, trying to generate as much noise as possible, even though that explosion already got its attention. Yeah, and then you've got things like, you've got, like, the pink stuff that goes on the floor in case of a spill. Oh, stuff, yeah, yeah, uh, purple stuff, all solutions. that. Yeah. Sunny, so you're doing all that, and the security guard who was staying at the station was about to talk to you and Dr. Roberts. He a doctor, and he walks in your direction. Yeah, I look at him, and I'm like... Yeah, I'm against the wall, so as he's walking towards the uh, okay. security thing, I kind of tell Felicity to hold back a second, and then uh, I walk up where I pulled like my uh, silenced handgun and split, spin it around so it's got the grip forward, and then as he starts trying to talk to Three Fingers over there, just pistol with him and knock okay. him out. Yep, so he comes up, walks around the corner, excuse me, and you're going to do an agility attack. So, so you're rolling a d20 and adding whatever your agility score is. 2d6. There you go. Sounds good. So. And 2. Oh, yeah. oh, sorry. That's okay. That's fine. Thank you. I'm trying to help you. Your dice recognition is very good. Four. Uh, that's 10. Okay. Any explosions? And a 6. Okay, nice. So it's 14. That's oh. 20. Okay. 25. 25. Okay, so here's how this works. You guys have numbers like guard and toughness and resolve here in the middle of your sheet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Those are your resistance scores. So guard is what you would use if you were trying to see if you could just overcome somebody's physical defenses. Mm-hmm. So imagine that your guards are like somewhere around like 13 to 15, something like that, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So whatever is in excess of that on an attack roll is damage, if you're trying to do damage. If you were trying to apply a status effect, then you could do a status effect thing instead, which is called Bane. So in this case, if you're just trying to knock the guy out, he basically just got dropped all at once. Okay. That's the incapacitated action, right? Well, so that's a special bane you would use if that's what you want to do. Um, in this case, there's not really a, a difference because you're going to drop him to zero hit points. So he is effectively out of this fight either way. Okay. Awesome. So he's just down. I take his badge and his taser and yep. hand the taser to you in case something happens. Okay. You have a shotgun and block bombs. You're okay. And pellets. And pellets. So we, I'm assuming me and him are going to move the body into the closet. Yeah, we, we put the unconscious guard into the broom closet, <coughs> hang him up. We already took his keys and his ID badge. Yeah, yeah, and there's like one physical key. So there don't seem to be a lot of keys around here, but the badge. Yeah. Okay, so they're pretty far ahead, so we're probably trying to catch up with them. Okay. So you're going straight up. There's a security station on the left. There's a hallway down there, and you can see there's another door there. And it has, again, the frosted glass. There's no indicator of what that room is, although there is a security camera looking down that way. Okay. And then there's a security camera looking down the opposite hallway where you see another elevator. Okay. We need you. Okay. Take out the computers. <laughs> <laughs> so put on your, probably want to put on your mask and go and hack. <laughs> your hack ability. <laughs> Great. Wear a mask. Do you want to wear the mask? Not really. Okay. We don't have to. I was just worried about the cameras. Yeah. Well, can't That's we just not make new identities afterwards? You could. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of I already have no identity. Yeah, I'm already known as Frankie Three Fingers. I'm happy with that. Yeah, you could be Nicholas Nine Toes. I don't know. That's true. <laughs> well, we can get rid of another finger. <laughs> 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 Frankie, 
we need to more games with Jenna right there. That's great. Yeah, one more finger. Yeah, All right. Over so do I just like pull up at the security guard station or something? What do you want to accomplish? What's your goal? Um, turn off the cameras, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Are you going to turn off any alarms? Yes. Yes. Okay. Those things too. Okay. Go ahead and make a All another things. logic plus d20 roll. Okay. I was like, do you want to stand the other one? No. See if I can do it. You got it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 19. Oh, yeah, 19. I was like, okay, so total right. of 19. We're yes. doing good? Okay. As far as you can tell, you've disabled the cameras, you've disabled the security systems. This is basement level one. You don't see any controls for basement level two. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Do you have thumbs? <laughs> I, yeah, I have thumbs. Okay, okay yeah. I have yeah, three, three fingers. Oh, so, yeah, yeah this is what he does. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, so the only other way they could possibly go on is down that hallway to the frosted. Right. Okay. So you've only got the two ways you could have gone at the end of that hallway. All right. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, like motion for the docks to go down that way. Which is that way? Elevator yeah. bank or other door? Elevator bank. Okay. Yeah. So this elevator bank just has a key card slot. And the doctor already left us. Yeah, yeah, the security card. Yeah, no, Baxter and Thomas's ID cards. Yeah, you guys, and the security You guys are just like right just, there, right? Have you gone down to B2 already without them? I don't know. You tell me what that's, you want. Yeah, that's up to you. I mean, you probably want to slow down for us to kind of keep up. Yeah. That way it'd be easier. All yeah. four of us go in. So yeah, I'm assuming the doctor's pretty still drunk and then she's just kind of like luring him where yeah. she wants him. She's going to tell him what he wants to do. Yeah, so okay. yeah. We're, we're slowly behind her. Okay. So you we reach go. the elevator door. Yep, and doctor... Probably tells she probably tells him to go down too. Mm-hmm. Puts his key card in. <coughs> elevator door is open right away. Any cameras inside the elevator? Yep, camera inside the elevator. Shit. Okay. All right, so we just gotta wait till B two. Do we have any black paint? I don't think we got any. If you guys want black paint. Okay, black cool. Paint. So I just go to the camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're not we're not gonna make this a punishing game. It's gonna be a fun game. You okay. Just handle your obstacles. All right, so there you go. I want you to make a painting roll. <laughs> yeah. A painting hey, camera. Um, I've got a couple questions from the internet. Okay. So, um, are you guys all playing humans? Because sometimes it's hard for me to follow everything when I'm doing all the tech work. Yeah, to be honest, we simplified that whole part out. We just said everybody's human, so we don't have to try to like add one more layer on this one shot. Okay. Everybody's being a super great sport, so why make their lives Ooh. harder? I know Becca's the face. Jim, yep. what, what's your character all about? Uh, I'm the operative. You're the operative. You're a hacker, right? Yes. And then Adam's demolitions. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Okay. That's Great it. stuff. Thank you. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So, and if anybody has any more questions, Jenna will be happy to answer them, especially about the system and the mechanics and how sure. to do everything hard. <laughs> She's got it. <laughs> awesome. She knows it more than all of us. <laughs> Jenna just makes the best faces if you ask her. I just like that's oh, all no. I'm looking for. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Great stuff. So we take the elevator down as we're taking the elevator down. Yeah. I'm like, I really hate this polo, so rips it all off, and then I'm sure. like in my full like combat gear. Okay. What is full combat gear? Kevlar uh, vest? For right okay. now, it would be the vest, a uh-huh. mask, probably a short sleeve t shirt. Okay. Skinny jeans. jeans. No, not skinny right. jeans. Right. Hey, Regular jeans. Skinny jeans. Right. Because right. right. uh, I don't have the ass for them. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. If you're a professional, what does operative. Jake? That's right. No. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, That's fine. Poor guy. He needs to do more squats. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, and he's got like the black combat boots, and then he pulls the M4 out. Okay. Ready his ass. So you're loaded for bear. Bags. Yeah. Cool. What? No, I hate, I, I I hate no fucking time. polos. Don't worry about it. I'm just gonna <laughs> stay here. Doctor Roberts is like effectively a zombie. He's like. Mm-hmm. Just wow, that guy's cool. Yeah, he's enjoying the music on the way down. I Drove got that guy on my desk. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna load these explosive shells in. Okay. <laughs> so you open the elevator doors open. There is no bing. You get this just the level muffled like, you know, when doors open, just by oh, themselves, yeah. no sound. And it's a open floor. And it's really it's like there's an upper level and then a lower level. There's a thin railing, 
there are catwalks that go down on this side and on the opposite side, so stairs that go down to the lower level. There's also what looks to be an industrial lift on one side, like if they had to lower down big equipment. In the center of the room, there's like a big frosted glass set of walls. So there's like a separate chamber where between the lower level, upper level, there's about 30 feet of height in this room, and that chamber seems to run the full 30 feet. Okay. Well, we're here for what we need to get, so let's... I'm assuming it's in that middle thingy. Let's go. All right, Captain Obvious. Doc, can we get the doc to open up the tube? Can we? Sure. He starts walking down that way, towards the catwalk. All of a sudden his shins blow out because there's an invisible laser. What? <laughs> just have to worry about that. No. 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 <laughs> yeah, screw it. I'm following him. <clears throat> okay. I'll keep an eye on the elevator. Just yeah, just keep, the, the parcel. keep an eye on my back. Okay, make a perception check, both of you guys. Perception is... Fifteen. Uh, Twenty-one. Okay, nice. So there are cameras on this level, and they also have these little lasers below them. And when you guys come out of the, like, you know, just like, like visible lasers, like cat pointers. When you come out of the elevator, both cameras swivel in your direction, mm -hmm. and they're tracking. Okay. And, we, and we've yet to really run into a major security room, huh? True. Shit. Um, well, they know the doctor, right? So let's just... Yeah, ask the doctor where the security room is. See, maybe we can try to disable the cameras or the security area. So if we're going to fuck down here... <laughs> <laughs> We I gotta don't turn these cameras want, off. Yeah, I don't want these like I don't want this to go on these the minimum wage security assholes to be able to watch that. Is, oh, well, I, where's okay. do you know like I mean is there like a like a little hub that they hang out? Or? Security's back upstairs on B one. Oh, okay. Yeah, all the systems down here are automated. Okay. Oh shit! I throw you a paint can and we go to both cameras. Are we close? Are we like anywhere? tall enough to reach them? You'll be able to reach them, but they're each about 40 feet from the elevator. It's going to tag us anyway, so... Just do it. At least we can At least we can knock it off and paint the rest of it, and then we, they don't know what else is going on. We could always shoot them. That's true. You shoot them, then. Okay, I hand you... I can't hand you my handgun because you don't have enough fingers to make it work. <laughs> Not on my left hand. <laughs> I don't have an index finger on my left hand. <laughs> I have a cons I have a silenced pistol on me. Okay. Does that you can you? take the shot. Well, I think he's gonna notice. Yeah, probably distract the. So I'm the gonna doctor. maybe slide he's that across the floor. Now. I don't want to hurt him. He's so pathetic. <laughs> But I also don't I see like any a, fucking way he's getting out of here like alive. Dead fish. <laughs> yeah, he's not getting out of here alive. It's not looking good for Hawaiian shirts. Okay. Sorry, buddy. He's like my spirit animal, too. I feel bad. I kinda, yeah, I really like him. Mm -hmm. Aww. All right, uh, I guess Sorry, I'm going to shoot out the cameras. I just feel yeah, like shoot you should have just got to win pub quiz on the last night of his life. Yeah, well, at least you got to drink half a blue hole. That's, That's true. true. That's some shots. Yeah, shots. Shots, 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 shots. Right. shots. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to take two shots with the handgun. Okay, so you're going to take two shots. Uh, so one that's on that one, one on that one. So this is how you do it. You're going to make a normal roll, but you're going to add in an additional die for your attributes, so you're throwing one more d6 in there, and what you're doing is you're taking the two lowest. This is basically disadvantage one for multi-targeting. Okay, so I'm rolling one. All of that, plus add another d6. You can borrow one from Jenna. Yep, yep, add one more. Hi, friend. Oh. So one of the, whichever die is the highest out of those three d6s, toss it out. Okay. So it can't explode or anything like that. All right, so. So see, that's perfect. So one of those twos doesn't count. Okay, so. so. Seven. Okay, well, so you got what there? Six on the seven, seven on those dice plus two on that nine? Okay. Yeah. So nine's not terrible because cameras don't really have a defense worth talking about. So as you're shooting out the two cameras, it's not exactly the quietest like operation you've ever undertaken. One of them you like shoot it and it like blows through the side where the wires are and it, like lodges in the wall. The other one, it's out. Hmm? 
So you got the two cameras out. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I was Please. like, that's what it sounded like. <laughs> yeah. Like it's like stare at the gun. There's this moment where she it like penetrates the wires and scrapes Aww. the wall and it's like a little more awkward so like than you would have preferred. Do you get these from Park Box? Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna go Bark to sponsor, that center like thing and try to figure Bark out Box. how to open it. <laughs> okay. So Dr. Roberts is about to the catwalk. You going to do down the catwalk, down the industrial lift. What are you gonna do? Jump over the side? I'm just gonna walk to it. Okay. I'm not gonna take any risks. Okay. So you walk down the catwalk to the lower level. Yep. Okay. When you get to the catwalk, make another perception check. Uh, five. Okay. Ouch. Nice. So <laughs> you're going down the catwalk, and as you're getting down, right about the time that your foot lands on the first step, you realize that there's a security card reader right there at the top of the catwalk, right when you step down. And you hear it go, wah, wah, wah. And now there are flashing lights and klaxons going off. Um, nothing else has changed so far. The two cameras, you know, you can see where like they were trying to still around, but you can hear they can't like pivot on yeah. their, their pedestals. So nothing's happening with the cameras. And then in the lower level there, the glass is actually sliding down. It's going And so this big 30 foot pillant of glass is slowly dropping down and it's revealing something on the inside. So in the interior there, there's like a like Lexan or like bulletproof glass type container, and it's going all the way ceiling to floor, that same 30 feet. It's got a little bit of a raised dies inside, and then there's a lady who's standing there in like a hospital gown. And she's got like shoulder length black hair, real pale, doesn't look like she's super healthy, has almost no room to move around. Like it's just like a fishbowl for her. On the exterior of the cylinder, there are very large, like, you know, like rock concert, like movie theater speakers on four sides. Mm -hmm. And there are, like, an instrument bank for computers. And then there's a guy sitting on a metal shop stool. And he is wearing a biker leather jacket and, like, leather pants. And he's got, like, that leather do rag wrapped back, long brown, like, a, like browning, graying hair, like, really natty, rustic looking, you know, big hairy arms. And he's just sitting there eyeballing you as you start moving down the catwalk. Um, okay. So, hearing the alarm go off, I yell at the doctor, and I'm like, what's down here? <laughs> so we can try to retrieve it and get the hell out. You so, doctor, right? Can you just swipe it? And well, I can use thermite right through that bulletproof glass. But, like, aren't there, like, flashing lights and stuff? Like, what's happening? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's the alarm went off. You said off. there's a key reader or a card thing. I think Kat found this audio track just for us. Pretty good. It's like between crickets and what would be going on. It's awesome. Yeah, actually. It it's more soothing, soothing than I would really want to have for this, so it's perfect. Let's not change it. <laughs> All right, so, doctor, what's down here? <laughs> what is your friend studying down here? I don't know. You need to ask him. He's the one that's fucking you. I just brought him. <laughs> I know. Just, this is a promise of Everybody Dr. talking about sex outside. Everybody trying to figure out what the hell's going on in the middle. Stay here. The guy in yeah. the middle slides off the shop stool. I pictured Danny Trejo. Oh, okay. Leave it. Hi. Um. What's you? <laughs> boss, cover me. I'm going to see what this guy in the do-rag wants. So I just walk up okay. with my shotgun. I'll be ready. And that's about it. <laughs> You're in the wrong place, bro. Oh. You know what I'm looking for? You're looking for some pain. I'm looking for pain? Pain. pain. And he picks up the shop stool, and he throws at you. And he is pretty damn strong. With a stool? Yeah. It's a metal shop stool, like if you were like in an auto shop. Yeah. Okay. That is the worst almost I possibly could have rolled. I ordered the same what is your guard? Uh, 14. Okay, he throws his shop stool at you, out. it goes flying across the room like a fastball, and you are able to just barely bring your head out of the way so that it collapses the railing of the catwalk that you're on. And it just like twists the thing so that to the side it's like starting to teeter and fall down. Oh, shit. God damn it. <laughs> Help. <laughs> so now we get to initiative. So you guys have initiative on the far right. It is over here. It's going to be whatever your agility score is and a d20. So d20 plus 2d6 and then advantage 2. 
So that means you get to roll two additional dice, and you get to keep the two highest of the d6s. So you're rolling okay. four d6s and oh. a d20, and you're going to keep two of the d6s, which is ridiculous. Yeah, so I got 13. 13. Okay, that's pretty good. 14. 14. Also very nice. I'm doing. I'm sorry. That's okay. okay. <laughs> um, right here. So eight. So you, you roll one of these, uh -huh. and you roll one of these. Okay. But you have an advantage of two. Two. So, so two you two want of the two. sixes. Yeah, you want uh, two sixes. No, D8s. Oh, okay. Here, just roll these two, roll that, and keep the highest of the eight. I can just steal highest. Oh, I already gave you one. Oh, never mind. I'm not paying attention. Okay. Swipe or no swipe? Sorry, someone tell me what I'm doing. Okay, so, no. You're doing great. This one goes away because you took the highest advantage, so it's two plus four. No, it's all you have to do. This is the hardest thing we're going to do tonight. So, going out with a bang, right? Yeah. Okay, how did we do? Anybody have an initiative higher than 20? No. Okay, awesome. I'll go first. <laughs> so, the guy who has just thrown the stool at you now is moving up really fast. And you see him just cock his hand back, and he's just going to try to plant his hand in your gut. Oh. Yeah, he's just going to punch you. Oh, that's a lot of numbers. Ow! Ow! I'm dead. <laughs> that was 53. So, what's your guard? 14. Yeah, you're unconscious. Yeah. Okay. Um, basically, he just walks forward... He socks three fingers in the stomach, and he flies up into the air onto the upper level. And he just rolls. Dang. I'm out. Son of a bitch. Z for hire? <laughs> <laughs> that, that kicked ass. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so continuing on, who has the next initiative score? Uh, I got a 15. Mine was like 6, so I had a 14. Okay, <laughs> so it sounds like you're up right now. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to go ahead and, like... Move forward uh -huh. under the catwalk and yep. then keep the rifle pointing around in an aggressive fashion and tell him you need to stop, stand down right now, or I will fire. And he's like, "Let's go." Okay, headshot. Okay. <laughs> so, are you? If you actually want to target something, are you trying to make an additional effect, or are you just going to go for? You just want to shoot him. Uh, incapacitated would be nice. Okay, so incapacitated. So I take what the agility plus the d20. So the 2d6 plus the d20, and then. Yep, yep. So you're going for the incapacitated vein in particular. Give me two more seconds here, and I'll get this all set here. Incapacitated. Okay, so this is you trying to give him. Now, what's your effect level? Is it a five? It's got to be a five. Effect level? Yeah. So like a power level five. It'll say like hopefully a five next to it. I may not have been that good. Uh, On the scoreboard. Over here, right so here. So this okay. is, yeah, this is not that great for you. What it's going to do is it's going to mean he can't move. Oh, actually, and unconscious. Yeah, that's pretty good. You should do that. So, which one is it? It's you're rolling right yeah, here. Your agility is a five, right? Yeah. Okay, so you're using your agility to do it. It's a five. Hello. Yeah. If you can do this, he's going to be unconscious. So that is pretty dang good. This is. Uh, 17? 17. This is versus toughness. Let's see that. Um, well, so we're in the back by Tyneborn Street, wow. and you succeed. My, somebody's like <laughs> down on the street. Amazing. She has on a striped red you shirt. You shoot him, it hair. hits him between the eyes, and you would expect there to be like blood like and brains lot. everywhere. And it hits him, and there's like this drop of what red. What kind of car are you in? And he just, boom, goes down <laughs> to the side. You have a feeling it is not a lasting thing. Help. Okay. Oh. <laughs> you know who's really good at healing? Okay, hold on yeah. one second. I know. She's going to go take a phone call, though, so don't worry. Sorry. She's like, like, like bleeding out right now. My Chinese like, delivery guy is lost. Yeah, that's cool. Point. Sesame chicken is more important than it's real. Yeah, I know. Then the demolition expert. Right. Okay, let me. Dude, it's. Let me look out the window. We're going to skip her in turn, and we'll come back to her, and then we'll go to Jenna right now. Okay. Okay, okay, okay cool. so what's Felicity going to do? I don't even know where I am in this situation. So you're actually. on that upper level. You're like okay. standing right outside the elevator. <laughs> as I just saw the demo guy fly into the air. Okay. And, you know, and his like... body is like rolling across the upper level. But there's like a twisted catwalk that you could get down if you were trying to get to those access panels for the system downstairs. Sure, let's do that. Okay. <laughs> so basically for this turn, if you want, you can just jam down there for like a full move. That'll get you all the way down there okay. where you could use a computer next round. Um... I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. But well, what do you think you'd want to do? Would you want to do that? Would you want to try to, like, you know, do something else for the situation? What's your priority right now? Um, well, we need to get whatever 
we're supposed to be getting, right? Right, right. <laughs> I assume it's the girl now? I mean, it's as yes. good, a good a guess as anything else, right? I mean, right? yeah. <laughs> we don't really have an idea. We just got a biker dude that just threw me across the room. That I shot in the head that probably won't... Uh, that, that probably will get, will back, get up. back up. Yeah. So what do you think? Oh, three jets. Okay. Yeah, probably. Okay. Is this just for us, Becker, or are we sharing? Five. Yeah, there's not that much. It's for when this is over. Cool. Okay, so you're going to dash down the computer side. Okay. Okay. It'll give you more options next round. Just okay. Until we're, we'll just go. Yeah, just until we're done. <laughs> I think it's well, almost done. Can you think of something else you'd rather do? No, not really. Okay. I'm stuck. All right. That's well, so hard. Better than nothing. Yeah. For round one, you can see a play. Okay. Better than what I did. Dr. Silverstein, what's your plan? Oh, you get the thing. Help. Oh, do you need help? He is the only, you are the only person who has healing abilities. I'm unconscious. I would help him. Okay. So you're going to go over, and you have this heal boon. So what it is, it is heal. What's the power level? Three. Okay, so you're trying to roll a 16 on your, what is that, presence? Okay. So if you roll a, you're going to roll the d10 and the d20. If you get a 16, you get the full effect. If not, you're going to get a lesser effect. So let's go for like oh, a 16. As long as I get up, I'm going to... Uh, 13. 13. Okay, so you get a level 1 effect. So you get to roll a d4, that, yeah, the pyramid. Okay. And whatever number you roll, there's a number of hit points that he's going to recover. Three. Three. Three hit points. You're up. Okay. Enjoy consciousness. Oh, yeah. Woo! Thank you. Okay, so top of the initiative round. I did not resist my bane, so the guy on the floor is still on the floor. So what was your initiative originally? I had 13. Okay. So you're up, Jake. Thermite now. Do you want me to just go to my turn? Because I was gonna. Are you do basically that. just? Yeah. Are you basically just? Do you want to hold then until he's got a chance to go do that? Well, I was gonna take a thermite pencil from him and put it in the hole I made and well, light. That could be the guy we need, though. We don't know. The, well, it's either uh, take it or dis- or disable it. So. I think he's talking about taking out the biker dude. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, but she was wondering. Oh, if, if the bike dude, he could be the target. Right? Yeah. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it, we have to either take it or oh, disable okay, it. Oh, okay, I forgot about that, yeah. So okay. there's a choice there. I think what we need is in the tube, but we're going to have to disable all the locks on the tube to get her out. Hi. But I'm also and thinking... He's going to get back up. Oh, yeah, but I'm also thinking whatever experiments they're running on her, they have the speakers and the mixer board set up so that way they can find out what sound it makes or whatever sound it takes to fry people's brains. Yeah. Um, so we may need to disable that. Yeah. But so your biker team. kicked your ass, so Oh I'm gonna nuke him. Don't don't worry about it. Like I'm gonna gonna get some explosives and I'm gonna plant it all over his body. <laughs> okay. Well done. Sounds sounds like a plan. So are you gonna hold an action or are you just gonna do something now? Uh I guess I'll advance for enough I'll still keep my rifle trained on. Uh, now I got a question. Can you do like a holding action? Yeah, sure. Yeah, like yeah. It, when it gets down to my turn, can I like th- like can I move and then throw him uh, thermite sure. and then be able to and then yeah, I'll move to over him. to the biker and okay. hold my action. Uh, plant yeah, so you're basically covering. Cool. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So yeah, when we're ready. All right, and then Doctor Silverstein. So, can you heal me some more? Yeah. Can I? Yeah. <laughs> Same thing as before. I'm pretty sure the other doctor. Just freaking out now because some dude. He's pushing the elevator button like this. And it's locked down? Um, yeah, it does seem to be. And the alarm is going off, I'm assuming, still? Yeah. Uh, that is a yeah. less good roll. That is... You are not going to get more hit points out of this roll. Sorry. That's In okay. fact, you lost all three. <laughs> <laughs> all I, of a sudden, I, I made it worse. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Placebo yeah. effect. Sorry. Okay, demolitions, man. All right, right. so. I get up, I'm going to go over there, and then I see him over by the biker, and I'm like, screw this, and I get him a good chunk of thermite with a lighter. Right. So you have a big fist-sized piece of thermite. And, you, and, it, like, and it sticks, too. Oh, so I was, I was thinking it was like a can. I thought it was like a pencil. No, it, this is thinner. thick. Okay. I was preparing for, like, thick stuff. All right. But I can, like, adjust the, the, the powder. I'll swivel the rifle back, and I take my knife Open up this jaw, place the thermite, and ignite it. Nice. Okay, why don't you go ahead and make a normal agility attack, but go ahead and add advantage. We'll give you advantage two on this since you're getting assistance. So add two more d6s, and you pick the two best. Okay. Channel probably loves some dice. Thank you. 
this dog. Okay, and then what else are you going to do with your turn? We'll call it a, basically a free action to throw something. Okay. Ooh, nice. Did I get it? Yeah. That's a 20. Nice. 26. 26 is pretty good. Mm-hmm. And now we'll do the 21 more again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 26. Uh, 28. No, with a 12. Oh, I mean, 30 uh, 38. 38. 38. I'm sorry. 38. That's pretty well. See, that's how you got knocked out so bad. Yeah. Those exploding Ooh. D20s are awesome. Yeah. Okay, 38. You hear a muffled, <laughs> and there's just like a smear on the floor in a very unattractive fashion. Oh, the, it's... It's not even close to that. The thermite starts. It it melts. It's steel. Steel. It's melty. Metal. It's melty. Huh? Okay. Yeah, it melts so it, steel. It it melts through like the grating on the floor. Then it keeps going down. And you would hope it would, but there is something about this particular guy that seems very resistant to being melted, and so it is just kind of like cooking in his mouth in a really really gross fashion, but it does not penetrate to the floor. Although you're imagining lots of things have been liquefied at this point. Okay, so it did something, but. Yeah. Probably not enough. But you haven't done structural damage to the building at this point. But he is currently undergoing a cooking process. Okay, so I'm then going to... I want to strap more uh-huh. explosives to this guy. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to lose my legs. You seem fine. intent on that. So you get over there and just start packing him in like he's... Oh, yeah, I got, like, yes. I, I got like six C4s right on his skull. Okay. And then I'm just going to run and bam... <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and make that big energy attack you're waiting to do? Oh, yeah. No, not, not with all of us right there. It's okay. We're going to consider this to be not an area target effect, but just a normal energy attack. And we're going to direct it. Oh, yeah. you suck. This is. I got 12. So, unfortunately, <laughs> because of the fact that you're just kind of like packing stuff out in the open, there is a lot of debris and a lot of like fallout from this. So, some of the like floor tiles are kicking around. You know, the body like rolls and hits up against the wall and you hear like kind of like a mini splat. But just everything in this area is like left as like a big crater. I'm happy with that. I think you used a little too much dynamite there, Butch. <laughs> I'll see four. I haven't got to the good stuff yet. Oh, God. <laughs> he says as his like one eyebrow is still smoldering. <laughs> yeah. I'm missing an eyebrow right now. <laughs> so, so Felicity over on the computers. So what's your main objective here with the computer? What do you want to find out? Um... Right now, <laughs> I'm sorry. That's okay. You could try to focus on like trying to find out information, you know, to confirm what the target is. Oh, okay, yeah. Actually, that point makes more sense. Okay. You want to go ahead and make so, a logic roll again, like we were doing before? Okay. So, so that's it's a two d sixes and d twenty. Twenty. Okay. Yep. Twelve. Twelve. Okay, and you're on the main system, so this is not hard. Okay. The girl in this container is the target. Okay. So and apparently she has the ability to like speak at a sonic level that controls the human brain. Okay. Pretty weird stuff. Okay. Has she ever been to an apocalypse world? Maybe, <laughs> right? Would make good Did sense. Do have like duct tape or something so she can't talk? Yeah. <laughs> right? Well if she's wired up to the speakers then she can talk she throughout can. the entire room. Yeah. And fuck us up. So, I mean, what's left of Biker make a explodey? Yeah, it doesn't look great, but he is surprisingly intact for a person who's been blown up that much. Dang. Well, I don't want to be all Hannibal Lecter and start carving him up. Dude, I don't think I have much of a choice. I'm going to start unloading those explosive rounds in his face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you do you. At this point. You hear the of the speakers turning on, and the lady in the center of the container, she's just standing there, she's not saying anything. And then the floor makes kind of a humming sound, and a shock runs through this central container, and she like arches back in pain, and when her scream gets the speakers, when it comes through the speaker system to you, you feel it just piercing through your skull. It is super loud, it is super painful. Everybody be aware of your resolve number. Uh, uh, resolve? Yes, oh, it's a large number that we are going Crap. Um, 34. Nope. Anybody's resolve higher than 34? No. There is no reason right to imagine it would be. Okay, in this round, you are all incapacitated. Okay, the way you resist being incapacitated, you're gonna roll a d20, you're trying to roll a 10 or above. 
like that safe. Fuck. I got 12. I 20. just rolled a 10, but I went to a 2. 17. Okay, so you guys are up and operative. You guys get to do this again next round. That's fine. Can I try to turn the speakers off? Yeah, go ahead and make that logic check again. Okay. Next time. Yeah. That's not very good. Duh. 13? 13. So you're clicking around, you're clicking around, and you've got the speakers off. Okay. You turn the speakers off, everything goes dead there, and there is a countdown that starts here on the computer terminal, okay. and it says terminate target. You get eight seconds. Okay. You're also here. Did we terminate target as in? That's all it says. Seven. I go Six. grab the piece of thermite and jam it on the lexan and light it. So okay. Get her out. Okay. Um, go ahead and make another. Let's call this. You're gonna roll with his his energy. So what is that? A two d six. Yeah, two d six. Okay. Uh. Twenty. 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 Okay. So it just it's cooking through and it's just melting a big line down the middle of this container. Okay, and then I grab the girl and pull her through. Okay, so you managed to accomplish that in this round. Okay, in the next round, you guys get to roll to resist. So, B, if you want to roll nope, two. I got a six. Oh, man. Five. Wow. Rough. This knocked me on my ass. <laughs> okay, so you got a, like, semi-conscious girl over, one, like, in one hand. You know, she was just electrocuted or something like that. Um, computer system tells you you've got three seconds left. Okay. Um... Can I, I try to override the countdown thing? Go for it. Try to. What do I, what do, I do? Same logic test. Okay. Yeah. 21. 21. Nice. And it goes 2, 1, and right when you hit that button, there's like a seize up at 1, and you're just like, you're causing like a counter overflow or something like that, where it just keeps going at 1. Oh, nice. What the hell does PC load letter mean? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, right. you guys okay. can roll to resist again. Okay. I got 11. 11! Hey! Yay. Yay. Conscious. I know. Yay. Yay. Four out of five of the people in this room are now conscious. Yeah. And, okay. Mr. Roboto? What's that? Good? Is Mr. Roboto coming back to life now, or what? Which one is Mr. Roboto? The biker. Oh, no. He seems to be down still. Oh, okay. okay. But the girl is rousing. Oh, the girl is what? Yeah. She, she's like, she's starting to rouse. She's waking up. And then... Her eyes are like open. Yeah, up. she's starting to. Yeah. Okay, I'd make this. And we start moving forward. Okay. But with the alarm going on? It's pretty loud. Man. Alarms are going on, lights are going off. I don't want to still punching that elevator bank as hard as he can. Yeah, we need to get the hell out of here. We got the target. Alright, now that I'm up, I see a chick and I'm like, what the f is that? <laughs> well, I kind of want to. Start talking to the doctor about what the hell they've been doing. Sure, go ahead. Well, don't you want to do that after you leave? Yeah, okay. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> first things first, make elevator work. And slam Dr. Uh, Doctor Chuck into the... You slam him? No, I can't, I can't override the security system from down here. Is there a hard line or anything else we can get to? I don't know anything about the security system. You're a scientist. <laughs> okay, I got an idea. He's not a Hacker, computer scientist. Go try to see what you can do. I'll get the doors open. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do you? What's the goal here? You're gonna try to oh. try to bring the elevator down. Yeah. Go for it. At least same, down to same roll into detail. Okay. Same roll. Okay. Great roll. Uh, nineteen. Nineteen. Yep. The elevator's coming down. Perfect. <laughs> so I get the door open with my explosives. We, we kind of need the door because yeah. it also provides cover. I didn't use that much. Oh, how do you know that have door? All the security badges. Go, okay, yeah. go ahead and make a, a energy check <laughs> if you're going to blow open the door. Yeah, so the yeah, like roll the d20 and add the 2d6s. Yeah. Okay. I got a 13. 10. 10. <laughs> it's a pretty big explosion, unfortunately. Perfect. The doors are slightly forced open. And you, when the door is open, there are two guys who are crouching there, like back behind the explosion, and they both got something drawn on you as the door is open. With the girl on my yeah. arms? Yeah. If you really want to get out of here, and I look at the little girl, <laughs> you'll tell them to drop their weapons, right? 
Screw that shit. <coughs> yeah, they're also firing. Yeah, I was going to say, they're probably yeah. going to fire after that explosion. Mm-hmm. They both hit you. Okay. Uh, well, how many hit points did you have a second ago? Um, I had 18. Okay. And you have armor, correct? Yeah. Yeah. So you now have five. Okay. As you have just been shot twice in the torso. Ooh. Mm-hmm. No point. Okay. So no shotgun. Stain. Yeah. I want to do my stunned. Okay. And that's energy versus toughness. All right. Now, if you're going to hit them both, you're going to have disadvantage one. So add one more d6 in there. Okay. And then you're going to take the two lowest d6s. Okay. Okay. One more time. I Thank you. Got wow. a table <laughs> so, so I got 18, 20. Yeah, you got them both. <laughs> yeah, they both just fall back, boom. They've both just been shotgunned, like knocked down prone, hit their heads on the side of the elevator. Oh, yeah. It's clear. Let's get out of here. Uh, always have to have me save you guys' asses. <laughs> so you're in the elevator. Doc, a little help here. Well, yeah, we try to push the buttons yep. and see if they all are going to go. he's got it wired up. It's going up. Sweet. Fuck. Uh, oh, I thought he meant Chuck Roberts. Right, right. <laughs> no, I meant Chuck Roberts. He's still Baxter. out there like the button. He's like, James <laughs> Baxter. <laughs> <laughs> so glad you cats here to experience all this. Hi. Way. Just the crazy. Dog helping. I don't have a horse obsession. <laughs> it's a pony obsession. <laughs> Get it right. <laughs> Okay, so we go to oh, ba- uh, basement one, Do you need yep. no potty? and that, that one door opens, correct? Yeah, the door opens. So I'm, um, well, I'm actually trying to take cover in case of more bullets, so okay. when that door opens. Okay. Yeah, you open the door, you look down there, that far door that had the frost glass, it's open. And there is one more guy standing there trying to draw a bead on you. Oh, crap. Okay. I guess I'm going to take a shot at him. Okay, go ahead. Okay, leave it. Stop. Uh, I have... No, not one more lift. 21, 24. Okay, yeah, you're going to hit it. That's definitely going to do it. And so with his guard, he's down. Awesome. Then we're just... Come on. (laughs) We're going to take the elevator up to the... I don't know. What's the escape plan? (laughs) Oh, I never thought we'd get this far ahead. (laughs) Remember, I just got shot. (laughs) Hang okay. on, let me... Lobby. Perhaps someone could heal you. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> she it. She's, like, I'm excited, too. She's busy enjoying her. No, you're company. excited, you too. Heal me, Ripley. Heal me. <laughs> do you want to do a heal? Yeah! Yay. Let's go for it. Tell me again. So you're doing your presence, which is a D10, and the D20. And okay. if you have a 16, that's super good. 13. 13. Okay, so for 13, you get to give him the D4 worth of hit points. Oh, yeah, give me that D4. And it can explode, just like every other guy. You can also fall on the floor like a good die. You don't do that. Hold on. Six. Hooray, I'm a Viking. Ta-da. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys have reached the elevator bank up to the main level. Okay, so we're currently in the lobby. Yeah. We're heading in the lobby. Um, open the door. What do we see? The lobby? No way. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're looking straight down the elevator bank to the main doors. You don't see anybody. I'm gonna throw uh, a couple smoke grenades. Okay. Down the lo- down the lobby that, to cover us. Okay. Yeah, so you're throwing down. towards the uh, uh, like the security yeah. desk. Yes. Or just in general on both sides. I'm just kind of just throwing four smoke grenades in that area okay. to cover. Got oh it. wait. What? She's in the drone. Drone. Well, yeah, drone with drone. lasers. It's cool. Okay. Yeah. Okay, hey, what do you want to do with your laser drone? Yeah, yeah before well, what I throw are we, There's nothing to shoot at, though. That's the thing, right? No, we can you just can look to see if it's... See if oh, okay. Are, see yeah, the coast is clear. Okay. It probably is. We are in L.A. You send the drone <laughs> straight out. Okay. And then as it pivots left and right, there is still the one security guard at the desk, and they're, like, on the phone, like, pushing buttons on the computer, like, as hard as they can. Okay. Oh, knock his ass out. Yeah, laser his face. Can we let my drone go in? Do a laser face. It's going to be your influence <laughs> check. So influence, I think you've got like a D10 in it. I'm not sure. Eight. Eight. Okay, so you're going to roll a D8 and a D20. Okay. There you go. Nice. That explodes. 22. Oh, plus 23. 23 to the face with a laser. I think I go and just drops. <laughs> it's a laser drone. Yes. 911, this is an emergency. Yeah. Yeah, probably. 
All oh, operators wait. are currently busy at the time. Please stay on the line or find a cop. So her drone doesn't pick up any more guards. She'll probably Head fly around. outside, though. Okay. Because he's been on the phone, right? Yep. Okay, so we get closer to the lobby door, and the drone is... I pretty much open the door and get the drone out. Yep. And the drone goes around back and forth. You don't see any police right away. Sweet! Get in! Run to the van. Yep. <laughs> Alright, yeah. You guys uh, manage to pile into the van. You're starting to hear sirens by the time you guys are all the way in the van. Oh no, my drug runner. Is Robert's with us still? No. Did Where did we, we just leave him? Yeah, did, were you trying to take him with you? Well, I don't know, because I thought we were going to get out and then ask him what the point oh, yeah. of the girl was. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. Take yeah, him we, with you? We sure. Did take him with you. So okay, we throw him in the van and then... Yeah. Before we take off, I plant the rest of my C4s around the street. Okay. <laughs> sure. Yes. It's a backup plan. Right. Win in Greece, rolling. <laughs> <laughs> just blow out everything. Yeah, just blow up everything. I was just waiting for the cops to come by and then blow it. Yeah. No, that way they can't chase us. This would be about that time. Can you yeah. drive the yeah. van? Yes, I can drive for a Drive the van, I yeah, gotta change my car. Shot. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm driving the van. Go ahead and make a logic test. Okay. This is for driving sanely and normally and trying to not be uh, conspicuous. Conspicuous, thank you. Are you gonna blow up the street? Um, when the cops come by. Yeah. This is about the right time. Okay. Okay. You think you're pretty inconspicuous. You've got your best 10 and 2 grandma driving going. Okay. Ten and 2, and 2. I have van. Uh, 14. 14. You hear the street. You're just a little too far away to tell how well it worked, but there's definitely a lot of streets. But it sounds like that. Awesome. All right, so we just head back to hideout. Yeah, we head back to the uh, to the building, and then yeah. Obviously, we put the girl up in a room. You know, yeah. Make sure she's got water. Take her mouth out. Yeah. The process of your conversation with Dr. Roberts in the van on the way back. Basically tells you that she has some sort of supernatural ability where she is just able to control people with her voice. So with that in mind, I guess you decide you're gonna keep her from talking. Duct tape her mouth. Yep. You've made arrangements for her to be extracted. Mm -hmm. Seems like a successful job. Minimal human casualties. Only a few explosions. Yeah, I think we did pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> so unless you guys have something else you'd want to throw into the scene, I say we ended there. No, so good. we did manage to get out, and I don't want to keep you guys way, way late because some people have to eat sesame chicken here. Um, but I really appreciate you guys playing the game with me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. 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 died very much, although the great thing about exploding dice is when you roll a 53 to hit somebody, it's like actually a very large number. Oh yeah, I was like, I'm dead after that first roll. Yeah. The other thing that's really cool about Open Legend is when you gain an experience point, like compared to other systems, like one experience point means a lot, because when you get three, you do your second level and so forth, oh, wow. and you gain feats and ability po or attribute points every single time you gain an experience point, not just when you gain a level. So your characters level up kind of fast, and it really does mean that you gain levels. Wow. So, so you just would, a general number. So if you got like an experience point... Yeah, let me get the can... number for you, so you can actually know what it is, because it's kind of cool. So if you had an experience point, which let's say since you guys just like blew up the world, you get an experience point. <laughs> so at this point, with one experience, you would be able to get, I am so close to actually having this answered, one feet point and three attribute points. It's not a one for one spin on attribute points. It's like the first one costs one, the second one costs three, and so forth, you know? Mm -hmm. But so you would have that in the bank, of stuff where you could spend and increase your abilities and keep moving on as you get to the next level. Okay. So, and there's basically 10 levels to the game. So, having one experience point, you know, you're already starting to be pretty awesome. Hey, and uh, also, so that you guys know, you are on the tweets for Open Legend RPG. You're on the front page of their website. Nice. Yay! Hey, how about that? <laughs> how about that RC like, Cola? I, mean, I don't know what any that, of this honey. means. Yeah, but you None do have an adorable hand shelf going. Okay, so that's that. <laughs> yeah, and my eyebrows are in there, so I'm pretty happy. Eyebrows that's all like, I ever want in life. He only has one now, so. Yeah. So good stuff, guys. Yeah. Um, thanks for playing along with Madness. Woo! Appreciate it. That was fun. Yeah, yeah, that was really good. I you like guys, it. You guys all did great. Really appreciate you playing with me. I know you're totally I not ready like, for this kind of thing. None of this, I was like, this makes no sense to me whatsoever. I'm the the no, great news is this is simpler mates. than a lot of games are. <laughs> yeah, but on the other hand, too, um, you did a really good job picking things up, and you tried super hard, and it's awesome. <laughs> it's like... Adam and Jim, you guys have definitely played role-playing games before. 
Oh, you know, it's only like, like once or twice, oh, right? It's like my it's favorite like thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> and B, you've had some experience with role-playing games, mostly the apocalypse world. This is like the third variety. time ever. Well, great. <laughs> so, yeah, one more than me. I played right. Dream Askew once, uh-huh. and then Apocalypse World, and now this. Awesome. I have friends who play D&D, so I like knew some of the terms, but right. it's just like, I don't know what that meant. And like, yeah, I forgot about like turns and like that stuff. I was like, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> yeah, we play kind of fast and loose with turns, but you yeah. know, we, we I mean, yeah, well. it's only one game. Yeah, we so only play, you know, fast and loose all the time. We can't just, you know, be like, you're a, you're a loose cannon. <laughs> open legend really supports it. So you know, you got fairly open rolls. You're supposed to keep things moving. If somebody fails a roll, you don't say, oh no, I'll roll it again. You let something else happen. You let the story keep going. So it's a lot like Spockle's roll. Yeah, I hey, think it's a every- really good mechanic. Everybody, shout out to our new follower, New Slang eighty six. New Slang eighty six. Thank you for good. following. Excellent. Thanks for that. Yeah. Uh, new Slang eighty six likes your vibe, Hans. Thank you. We like people who watch us on Twitch because I mean, there's realistically no reason you have to. So if you do, it's really nice of you to do so. And I mean, in general, I really appreciate everybody playing the game with me. Thank you very much. Um, we decided we're going to do this on Monday when Daniel couldn't make it out. And he, again, he would really like to play with you guys in the future. So we just got to see what's going on. Oh, I would love to play this game again. I think yeah, it's so. way more fun than Apocalypse World. The fact that you can just do like a, a job like this. Mm-hmm. I love Payday, and this is exactly like it. Cool. So, yeah. so I think if you got to like a lot more, a lot of other heads into the mix, it, it could end up either being like Payday or one of the worst comedy of errors you've ever seen. Oh, Just yeah. like every other role-playing game on the Oh, yeah. yeah. It, 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 it would be hilarious to to see, you know, other people do this and end up in the same scenario and then see yeah. what they do. Right, yeah, so goals I had for myself, I want to talk about, like, the idea of doing a job because it's one of those modern-day tropes you have for doing, like, games. And then the other thing that I really want to encourage for the future is developing like a fantasy angle to this where there's more magic and more things happening. Like the girl who's in the container is effectively like a siren, somebody whose voice has like preternatural abilities. So we didn't showcase that too much tonight, mostly because of the fact that it's the first time most of you are playing the game or, you know, role-playing games. So we wanted to stick to getting the game out, seeing how fast the mechanics are, making sure you know what you're doing. And you guys all did awesome. Really That's fun. Good. Yeah, I had a lot of fun. Yeah. So I definitely like to do this again. Awesome. Well, it was really great playing with you guys. And Kat, yeah. I mean, I don't know how long we want to keep them on stream, but I think we should definitely encourage Becca to eat sesame chicken and just get back. <laughs> and we should try to get out of your house at some point. Um, you know, for me anyway, <laughs> personally. Like yeah, sure. Ripley wants us to stay. Sure. She's like uh, flat uh, under um, the table. Let me come out for just a second. Yeah, let's do some stuff. Yeah. Are we going? So we're looking at Kat. Well, um, Hello, thanks everybody for, uh, you know, being so receptive for when we had to change up the game at the last minute. Yeah. We really appreciate it. I hope everybody enjoyed watching Open Legend. You can check out their website. Just Google Open Legend. It's openlegendrpg.com. OpenLegendRPG. Look for the picture of my eyebrows. You'll know you're on the right place. So there you go. At these yeah. guys. Um, I don't always use the internet, but when I do, I browse. <laughs> 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 uh, next week on What Game Do You Bring? Uh, we are going to be playing Pandemic Legacy. I will be here. Which I'm very excited about. You're I've be been here, wanting right? to play it Olivia. for a very long well, yeah. time. And I know I'm that game. Be here. She got that game <laughs> over a year ago, and we haven't cracked yeah. it open yet. Jenna's going to be here. Becca's going to be here. Okay, spoilers. Did you go blue or red? I went red. Okay, cool. But I don't know what it means. That's just a box art. Thing. I don't know what it means either way. So, Christian. So, tune in for that, and um, make time to tabletop. I'm, I'm stealing your lines. No, it's cool. I mean, I'm just going to do my usual awkward exit. So whenever you turn the camera off, don't tell me because it's Keep less... Keep circulating the <laughs> URL. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good night, everybody. Follow us. Follow us at all the social media. Which is now Jenna's job. Which is now my job. All the social media. Yeah.